There we go. Hello. First, nah, there's a couple of people already lurking in here. <laughs> I find it a little bit annoying that the loading screen is so long that everything is silent. <laughs> there we go. Much better. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. Let's see. The lamp's are on. Uh, my work phone is off. Perfect. I don't want to hear that today. Uh, I should maybe turn off Steam because Steam costs valuable CPU time. <laughs> um, did I not close yet? I hope I didn't accidentally start Battletech. <laughs> Demon, hello there! Oh, two Demons. Hey, how are you doing? With it! Hey, Bolt, how are you and how was my day? Uh, this is probably going to be the week from hell. Um... Since by the end of the week, actually by tomorrow, the release has to be done. And everything is either on fire or in a weird and undefined state. Uh, mostly because who would have thought it? Like a week before the release is basically going out the door, people come around and go like, hey, we got new requirements. And we go like, excuse me? What the fuck? Could you please leave? Hmm... <laughs> Let me grab something to drink real quick, and then we can hit the button. Managed to break my headphones just before. There we go. Nice. These are broken. How very, very nice. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's not the time for broken headphones. I paid good money for these. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know what? Let's press the button so you can see me fuck around with the... Uh, <laughs> with the headphones. Good evening, Twitch. My headphones are broken. Let's see. Let's see if we can fix this real quick. But yeah, that's definitely a warranty case. Because... I have these? What is it, like two months or something like that? And remember how I kind of said that I want the headphones with metal hinges? So that they don't break anymore? The plastic broke. Boldy hype, boldy hype, boldy charge, boldy charge, duct tape can fix it. Yeah, duct tape will probably fix it if I can. Let's have a look at this one. Mm. It's also broken on the other side. <laughs> it's broken on both sides. Yeah, those are going back. <laughs> Not buying whatever brand of headphones are those. Yeah, Austrian tech. No, never. Um, I got it back in. But yeah, let me let me show you. Let me show you. Um, focus. Let's see if we can get some focus. You see this part over here? That's broken. That's the plastic coming off. Same over here. Over here's fine. It's breaking over here as well. <laughs> 
So, yeah, not buying those anymore. Uh, let's see if I can get some more with you on these. Um, but that will be for later. For now, they're sitting on my head. Get a bigger one. Oh, it's big enough. It's definitely big enough. Get an elastic loop and loop it around uh, the, the head to toe. <laughs> just, just tape it to my face. Yeah, but yeah, not buying this again. I mean, quality of the earphones or the earpieces, pretty good. Um, quality of everything else, shit. <laughs> Kuniki! <laughs> There we go. Um, all right. I will not die at pie today. How about that? Because I will not win pie today. I will not make any promises I cannot keep. There we go. That might break him even more. I mean, if they're already broken, they're just going back. Um, yes, 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 yes. I get the DT770. I will see. I will see. There we go. There we go. Good. Yes, so, <laughs> it was a weird start. Uh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> welcome back to Factorio. Welcome to more Pyanodons. A game we will probably be playing for a bit. Now, last time we played this, uh, we had a bit of an issue. It kind of turns out that, that while well, playing on the desert map with biters and a little bit of pollution is a very bad idea, especially if making ammunition takes forever and making turret takes forever. We don't have anything that's even remotely similar to walls. And all in all, everything was pretty, pretty terrible. So we kind of lost three hours uh, because we're going to restart that. Um, <laughs> I did spend like an hour yesterday after the stream just tweaking with the map settings until I was happy. And let me just check if... Okay, Ghost Scanner is out. That's good. But let me just check if one mod is still in there. Um... Blueprint, copy, paste, modules, factory standard, landfill, prismatic belt. We keep keeping prismatic belt. Prismatic belt is fun. I think I took it out. The the map settings one. Let's just check if it is. Yeah, we we did, we unsold it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, 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 good. So should have set the starting area bigger. No, we had multiple issues. RSO. If you set the starting area too big on RSO, the resources that RSO spawns spawn at the end of the starting area, <laughs> which is like miles away. If we uh, deactivate RSO, we get super weird patches. RSO is definitely recommended for Pi. Um, after retrying it a couple of times, it is absolutely recommended to install RSO because else you will have patches that are completely overlapping. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We cannot go on this one. Um, yeah, after you, um, if you don't install RSO, you get patches that are completely overlapping and it's just really a mess to work with. Uh, the patches that are currently being generated are good. Um, and of also those starting patches that increase of that is also pretty, pretty good. Emu Bob, how am I doing? Well, I broke my headphones today, it seems, and everything is terrible and the release is absolutely horrible. I think I will need some more vacation next week. Uh, <laughs> there's a wedding on the weekend. I'm, usually when there's a wedding, I'm super excited for it. And I just sit there and go like, uh, <laughs> I just want to sleep again. <laughs> Good, 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 good. It's being RSO shit. RSO is great. RSO is great. Good, but I've already prepped the map, so we can just jump in and pick it off where we left it. This should be right where I just finished up generating the map. There we go. Good. <laughs> it's a little bit greener this time, which also means that we have a little bit less issue with pollution. There we go. There we go. Why do you need sleep when you have pie? Yeah, it's uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to go to the garage, which means... Uh, and Grandpa said, name in the game above. Yeah, we will first of all have to make a base. I don't even have any rocks, you know. <laughs> there will be enough time for name in the game. Don't be hasty about it. Uh, I will put in name in the game as soon as I can. But if I don't have any bricks or anything like that, there will also not be any kind of name in the game. Also, what was that UPS drop? Oh, that's probably the recipe book over here working. Did we lose yesterday? Yes, we got swarmed by biters. Because, well, research. We, we did it gun turrets, but you might think just making 10 small parts is not a lot of things to do. But making small parts just takes freaking forever. Good. Um... Yeah, we mostly lost yesterday because um, the biters in the desert, the pollution in the desert, everything in the desert ate us. Uh, there was nothing keeping the pollution back. Nothing was um, at all helping us over here. 
And trying to progress just made things worse. And we were more or less at the start of a death loop. And you know what? I would rather lose three hours right now than be frustrated after 20 hours. So, you know what? Why not have a bit of a restart? There we go. There we go. Good. Message your day. Hello there. How are you doing? And if we now restart, we can also really think about how we can make this better, how we can make this more nice over here, etc. etc. You can see that we do have spawns close to base. Uh, the starting area size is on 200%. Um, that means ores start spawning from over here. That also means biters start spawning from over here. The biter settings are a little bit toned down. Um, Biter, um, what's it called? Not resettlement, Biter. Biter expansion is on. So all the Biters that are out there will slowly but surely get to us. Normally distinct. Hello there. How are you doing? Good. Uh, and, well, let's get this thing off. Yep. Map settings are the same. Map settings are the same. The only difference is that Biters, I think, are uh, a little bit more toned down. And we can always, always, always still change the map settings later if we want to. If we think the map settings are too easy, we can always tone them up again. Trippy Triangle! Hello there! How are you doing? Trippy Triangle! Oh, wait, uh, Pioneer, Pioneer Returns just in time for the Rimbo DLC. Yeah, I made plans for this week. Like, here, yeah, I've got my schedule. Here we do this, there we do that, here we do this. And then Pi comes along and goes like, hey, I released Pi. And I'm like, oh, oh shit, okay. And then Rimwood comes along and goes like, hey, we're releasing our DLC. And they go like, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> all those plans we have made, well, more or less just out of the window. <laughs> yeah, uh, normally on Friday we play XCOM at the moment. But since we played XCOM last Friday, um, we're just going to skip it this Friday. And we're going to do a release stream of the Rimwood DLC. I do hope it will come out at an early time point. If it comes out too late... Then, well, we will see. We will see on Friday. Um, yes, 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 yes. Good. Uh, you know what's the best thing about restarting a game like this? Uh, you already know a little bit, so you can already think about what you're going to be doing. There we go. And playing for the catpaws again, Mr. Macalito. Um, you might have to very loudly scream at um, Mr. Pi himself, because I couldn't find the catpaws in here. Uh, oh wait, it is over here. It does have a recipe. Okay, no, 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 never mind. You, you, you cannot, you, okay, it's it's not where you think it is, but the cat bus is still in there. Does Rimworld finally have babies? Rimworld has babies. Rimworld has fucking babies in it. We're gonna eat a baby on Friday. Like, on Friday, we're gonna boot up the game, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna eat the baby. <laughs> Just because we can. <laughs> A big fan of the biome change. Uh, I was prefer the grassy green. Yeah, the grassy green is so much better. I mean, we do. There, there's a desert over here, so we do have a bit of desert. Uh, I did take a look at the map at some point in time. Um, yes, but yeah, Rimworld. Rimworld has babies now. Um, I'm not quite sure what I think about that. I mean, at some point in time, we we, we are definitely going to get a pyromaniac, and I want to see one of those pyromaniacs set a baby on fire. <laughs> I'm going to blame it all on the developer of Rimworld. Have Pi has rebalanced the science cost from the beta? Um, maybe. Not quite sure. I have not played it in the beta, but uh, I do know compared to like the previous playthrough, they did rebalance quite a lot. There we go. Yeah, start doing that. Good. Um, yeah, we need more miners. Make these miners, please. And then I guess we need more coal as well. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Now, there is Borax over there. Uh, ah, there we go. Biters are not too far away. Biters do exist. But this time around, we're probably going to do it a little bit smarter and maybe do the tech first. Uh, so instead of going like big on the big smelter, we might just want to do some tech first. Do you have quality of life, even distribution? No. <laughs> I don't really care too much about it. I mean, why do I need even distribution? I mean, even distribution was good when the stack sizes were small, or big, I mean. But stack sizes are currently so small that I can just drop them in like this. It'll be fine. So you're going to try to play Pi with Brave New World on top of it? Uh, is it even possible? I mean, it will take a while before we can even make circuits. <laughs> and I think in, in the region of influence that you have, I don't think you can operate like that. 
There we go. There we go. Might be good to prioritize lads. You need lots of ammo. There is a cheap recipe over here, but I think there's actually a better recipe for that as well. Uh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, two lead plates makes firearm. There we go. Or, you know, just having splitters. <laughs> Zeroth! Hello there. How are you doing? Good, that's in there. Uh, let's get some more of these. For that, we need some more stone. Um, Bricks. There we go. Get some more stone. We got a little stone field over there. Um, But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Here we go. Here we go. A challenge here. Make a one belt balancer before splitters. A one belt balancer. Wait, what do you mean with a one belt balancer? You mean the thing that balances stuff out? Uh, I think we can do that without splitters. A lane balancer. There we go. And how did you work through the Saturday? Did you uh, 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 wait? Did you stem the flames and sort the car out? No, everything's still on fire. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure where the project is currently going. I mean, the project is so much on fire at the moment. Uh, the the core team of uh, the project itself, um, they're not going to get the the the. Uh, um, they're not going to be chosen again to do uh, it for the next generation of the project, and they asked our company to do it, and our company was just sitting there and going like, um, no, <laughs> we're not doing that. Go out of here. Uh, the amount of, of, of projects our company gets from, from our client is just insane. <laughs> good, 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 good. Here we go. Pick up all of these. Then I do have a box over here. And yeah, just, just get some stone out. There we go. Start with that. Good. Good, 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 good. Is that a stone patch? That is a stone patch. I mean, there's like 1.2 million in there. That's more than enough. There we go. There we go. <laughs> all the money. Yes, but I mean... um. That's at least something I really do enjoy about my two bosses. Um, they do know that they can do all the projects they want, but they also do know that sometimes there are projects where you just say, no, <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> we don't care if everything is on fire. We're not going to do that. Um, here we go. And since, they, uh, since they asked you, maybe you could make it work uh, and give it the name of the project. Yeah, no, no that, that project is freaking huge. The project is just freaking huge, and that's the issue. Here we go. There we go. Can we make some more of these? Yeah, make at least two more. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Good. Also, press alt. There we go. Perfect. So, uh, let's maybe get... Okay, if we want to get science going from the get-go, then we do need to get... Uh, at least one boiler, one of these, one of those. We do need to set up at least a little bit in terms of um, automating coal production over here. Uh, where's the water over there? Good. All right, why the restart? Well, mostly because the fighters ate us. So we did do a restart. And you know what? I would rather have a restart after three hours than have to, have to forcefully restart after 20 because that map would have eaten us alive. Absolutely. And I would rather have an early restart than the late restart, because the late restart would be way more terrifying. There we go. The parties were fed. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Nah, that, that was hopeless. I mean, you saw how many how often we got attacked. We could have probably powered through it, but it would only have been made worse over time. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. We saw eight hours, eight hundred hours in. Not any problem. Why? Yeah, no. And I meant for the next gen part of the project, you decide uh, the core and the frames of the coding. Uh, they can't fuck it up again. Am I wrong? Yeah, but that's the problem. The project is so big, so freaking big, that nobody in their right mind can actually have a full overview of everything. Like <laughs> you just sit there and you go like, uh, okay. Um, I mean, even we don't have a clue what's going on at some point in, in the project. And, and we are pretty good at it. But still, it's it's like, oof, no. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind would do that. Good. Uh, let's get some more of these in. 
Here we go. And original make the green things and hallucinations. Absolutely. We needed to numb the pain after losing the biters. Yeah. Nah, not much pain. It was it was a warm-up round, you know? You, you do sometimes need a warm-up round. Absolutely, you sometimes need a warm-up round. And after we now kind of figured out what we need to do over here, we can, can already immediately see that things are progressing, like, even faster right now. There we go. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, we do need some more pipe. Make pipe. Where did all my pipe go? Did I not make a lot of pipe? No, it's easy pipe, I see. And today you got paid to do nothing besides wait on the test feedback, and that will continue uh, until the app I'm working on is released. Yeah, that's also a big problem in, in, in computer science or sometimes. Like, sometimes you have these processes where people just sit around and wait, and you go like, okay, can, can't we do this better? And you go like, yes, I can, but uh, yeah, the other side is not really, really helping out over here. Uh, I get that, I get that. <laughs> and then sometimes you want to make it go faster by hand, and then you just realize, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Even faster progression means even more pollution. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Um, let's get the coal thingy going. I think we've got everything. Ah, we need some belt for that. Belt. Um, we we'll need for more belt, more iron. There we go. Can you make the clients better at reporting issues? That's usually a good way to start it, but... Um, yeah. Oh. There we go. One other second. Starting again? Yes! If we weren't there at the end of the stream last time, we got eaten. We got absolutely eaten by biters. And Code Red NL, hello there. How are you doing? So we kind of had to restart. I mean, playing on the desert map on Pi with biters. Yeah, that's going to eat you. <laughs> that is going to eat you. Here we go. There we go. And even these spiders over here, they're already out for, to eat us. 24 am over here, so you were asleep. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, we were kind of not really prepared on, on how intense the biters are. Usually, in a vanilla game of Victoria, like, as soon as the biters attack, you go like, okay, let's let's maybe do something about that and research something about that. Yeah, not in Pi. <laughs> the moment the, the biters attack in Pi, it's basically too late. Are the biters more aggressive? No, but... Uh, let's see. Can I can I make some iron pocket? Yes. Yeah, let's have a look. To make a turret. To make a turret, we basically need 20 iron plate and 10 copper parts uh, plate and um, 10 small parts. So every time I wanted to make a turret, I had to craft all of this in my pocket. And that takes a while. Just to make the small parts that we need. Um, and then we also have to craft the ammo. Um, here we go. We'll be for that. Rock hole. Um... Also, crafting the turret, what, how long does that take? Um, that's another eight seconds. There we go. Yeah, Pi is really not balanced around um, uh, 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 biters. And we just got swarmed. We got absolutely swarmed. I mean, if it's like only one or two biters attacking every now and then, that's fine. But we quickly were up to attacks of like 20 to 30 biters. And, well, yeah, that just didn't end well. <laughs> it just did not end well. Good, 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 good. Um, make belt. Make all the belt that we need. And normally I forget biters exist early game until they pop up and say hello. Yeah, exactly. And 38 iron plate, 8 ore, ore per iron plate, that's 3 4 iron ore for the turret. Yep. <laughs> yep. Things are expensive, yo. But one step at a time. One step at a time. Good, 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 good. Give me all of this, give me all of that. Excellent. I think we can start setting stuff up. So, pick this up again. Pick up the raw corners on the ground. There we go. Good. So, um, we kind of had a solution for this. I think it was something like this, that, this, and then this. No, wait. This, that, this. Then we got the main belt going out. Maybe we don't make it that far. There we go. And then we had something like... No, it was like this. There we go. There 
Here we go. And then you and you. And you and you. This thing over here needs to be down by one. Here we go. That works. And then you feed back. And you feed back. And then eat, eat, go. And the Vital Horde was coming from at least three different directions. North, east, and west were confirmed. Yeah, it, it was... It was pretty intense. <laughs> Here we go. And then we need this. And we need that. And we need this. And we need that. And then we need... This. That. This. And that. There we go. Good. And then we pull the swing all the way down over here. And we make a little power plant over there. Uh, really, really the, the smallest power plant that we can think of. Like, you over there, and then... You over there. Uh, actually, we do want a little bit more of this. One more, and then two more of these. There we go. Good, 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 good. And then, maybe we can do it like this. Actually, I think doing it like this will be fine. Good, and then... More water over there. You over there. And you over there. There we go. Good, 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 good. Small little power plant. <laughs> Definitely not bolt size. Yeah, if we go bolt size on this map right away, uh, we're going to get eaten. We are going to get eaten. There we go. Uh, one, two of these. A couple of these. Two of these more. And then at least one of these. We already have one of these, but now we've got another one. Good. You go over there. Uh, and then you go over there. And we need some power poles. There we go. And then zip. And we go zip. And there we go. That's a water power plant. Good. Attempt number, who cares? Is this, um, is this run without M uh, RSO? No, it's still with RSO, as you can see. And in my opinion, RSO is very important for this playthrough. Ah, uh, more biters. There we go. Um, because it will prevent patches from spawning on top of each other. And that's something I really do dislike. But yeah, these patches over here, we got like more copper over there. We got uh, more iron over here. Uh, there's some titanium ore over there. Some zinc over there. Uh, we'll probably need some tin at some point in time. That's over there. Everything is available to us. Here we go. Mods! Ha! Ah, I forgot something. Yeah, I have not updated that command yet. But if you do want this map... Where is it? It's over here. Um, and for the people that are not in my Discord, we can just use... Copy link. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Doc Spano, that command is broken at the moment. I still need to fix the bot. And now, as long as work is as crazy as it is right now... No, I'm not fixing it anytime soon. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> Those are like the two worst power poles. Wait a minute. We can do this better. Place one in the middle. And we go around. <laughs> Pull the slazy sack. Yep, absolutely. Uh, you mean the bot slazy sack. Absolutely. Um. Okay, maybe one inserter is not enough. Wow. <laughs> Um, I was mistaken. We do need to. Um, sure. And make some more pipe. That's the wrong way around. There we go. <laughs> that works now. Oof. Yeah, these, these really are hungry. And two in wins how many out? Uh, probably also two out, but we will see. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Um, there we go. Good. Uh, we got basic power up and running. We need one of these. Then we definitely need one of these. For this, we need, I think, just <laughs> all that plates. That's what we need for this. There we go. Can we make one of these yet? No, we now need copper plate. If a mod is available, um, not yet, not yet. I mean, I've just shared the save. If you follow this link, 
you will get to the safe and then you can just sink on the mod or on the save file. And is the liquid full loop not the UPS killer? There's no full loop in there. Where do you see a loop over here? There's no loop. Disconnects down. Disconnects up. There we go. There we go. There we go. What makes this belt so yellow? Shades in yellow. Uh, that's the prismatic belt mod. That is... There we go. The... Where is that thing? Uh, yeah, prismatic belts. There we go. And to be perfectly honest, I kind of like the shade of yellow. It makes it a little bit more... Yeah, how to put it? A little bit more visible, you know? Good. Uh, get all the copper plate, please. Uh, we can now make one of these. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Nah. I'm already annoyed about these headphones. I have to buy another set of headphones. I mean, uh, I can probably get warranty back for them. That will probably be fine. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that these headphones are kind of shit. <laughs> like the whole plan of buying a set of headphones that lasts for like two years? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. Good, 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 good. Mmm. <laughs> Pie phones? Mmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's pick up all of this. There we go. There we go. You like your Steel Series wireless uh, pro because they have some form of batteries. Yeah, but I don't really want I don't really want a wireless headphone because I know myself that thing will be out of power all the time. I'm not a big fan of wireless headphones. Also, I, I don't really can interface a wireless uh, headphone in my mixer over here, so I would rather have uh, something with a cable. I mean, the, I've got a long cable coming from over there to all the way over here, so it's not an issue. And here we go. Fill up these, fill up those. Good, 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 good. Let's have a peek. Maybe those plastic parts broke. Uh, should be metal. And then they lost. It, yeah, it, those should be metal. Absolutely. There we go. Now, I'll just write an email to, to my, my hardware supplier and go like, here, dude. Uh, these headphones over here, they broke. <laughs> Give me warranty or give me my money back. <laughs> I mean, when did, I, when did I buy them? That's my phone. Should be in here somewhere. When did we buy the new headphones? Was it like four months ago, six months ago? If it's if it's less than six, I can I think even uh, get my full money back and go like here. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> uh, it should be in here. Hmm. What's the place called again? Um. No, no, no. Ah, there we go. Well, didn't really find the correct thing, but June seventeenth. What is that? June. That is. Oh, okay. That's pretty much five months ago. <laughs> Good, 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 good. No, actually, that's four months ago. June the 6th, the 6th month. Um, here we go, here we go. I can count. I can definitely count. Good, that thing needs power. In case it's uh, survived long enough, I want in. Yeah, but we also need things like, like stone and... and uh, time to do that uh, we don't have that right now like like if name in the game yes absolutely we will do that uh but don't be surprised when it takes a while to get to that point you know <laughs> in due time exactly um, first of all we have to get a little bit of the base rolling good so well, we could now make a soil extractor where is that thing that thing is over here one soil extractor please uh for that thing we do need another water pump Name in the paint. <laughs> sure, we could rename it. Um, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, 
Here we go. Bring me all of that, please. And due time, so it's late November. Yes, at some point in time, the names of the games will be in. Here we go. Here we go. Pick up some more of this. Here we go. Fill up all these up. There we go. Good. Uh, man. Water pump. Soil extractor. Soil extractor is still being made in my pocket. What the hell? Uh, you place it over there. Nah, you can already see, like, like, Pi really likes his bolts. <laughs> Here we go. Fits like a charm. There we go. Make some dirt, please. Good. And then we can at least place this thing over here somewhere. Like over there. That's fine. We're going to research gun turrets. <laughs> New emote of these, um, one says older, second one says pain. And you know what? I still got four slots open over here. Um, because I did ping for wear. Um... Maybe this. There we go. Good. There we go. I mean, I still got two slots open for emotes over here where I asked for Red to make some for me. If you got a good idea for them, throw them at me. There we go. There we go. And when can you research of uh, build uh, bullet damage? Uh, that's a good one. Uh, bullet damage. Uh, that's over here. Oh, God. That requires another science pack. <laughs> Yeah, next year. Next year. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere next year. How about that? Good, 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 good. Uh, we do need some bricks. Um, that is definitely something we need. Let's go to our stone patch real quick. Uh, we do need to start cooking up some brick. Um, so one, two of these. Three, four of these. Um, and maybe some chests. That's fine. One, two, three, four of these. Yeah, have this. There we go. Have this. Thank you very much. Um, we could maybe just over here want to maybe cook some straight over here. Here we go. You found the stone patch. One thousand two hundred belts connected. Well, time to automate belt then. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pick up these big rocks over here. Also, uh, let's. Can I reset these? Uh, we can magnet them, but we cannot reset them. Oh. It's kind of hoping we could reset them so that we can at least see if uh, the biters attack. So I get a little bit of forewarning for the first attack. Mm. Basinjo! Hello there! How are you doing? Can we reset in the menu? Really? We can do that? Mm, let's see. Uh, other. Delete achievements. There we go. Delete! There we go. There we go. There we go. That's also a bit suspicious why this takes so long. There we go. Ah, perfect. Now we can see <laughs> when the biters attack. Now we have a word of warning. It deletes them completely for everyone. Oh no, everybody has to do the fish achievement again. Best part about K2, uh, getting the tooltip about new bullet mechanics and going, oh shit. <laughs> Good. Okay, we got a little bit more over here. Excellent. Uh, this thing over here is going to be making straight up. Oh, that's going on the floor. Uh, there we go. Does this... Oh, that's really nice. We can just fire this thing up with Kerrigan over here. Right away. <laughs> uh, but we can't fire up this thing with Kerrigan. Wait a minute. Uh, good, 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 good. Sure. Why not? Why not? Just, just, just work like that for a while. And make some more bricks. We need another one over here then. Um, yeah, you get some Kerrigan. Work on that. 
Um, let's make some more of these then. And you just continue making stone bricks, please. It'll be fine. We might just want to put some chests over here. There we go. Two of them. Uh, and then... Uh, whitelist. Just give me the bricks. <laughs> Leave the ash in there. We're going to pick up the ash by hand. How big is the ash stack? Ash stack's up to a thousand. So that will be fine. We don't really need more ash. Um, there we go. There we go. Good. And with this, at least we can make some bricks. Because we are going to need quite a lot of bricks. By the way, also kind of weird about the stream yesterday. I also had like a massive headache when I started the stream already. Um, so, I, and I was kind of tired from work as well. <laughs> uh, which definitely made streaming yesterday a little bit weird. Uh, but I was kind of surprised how many people were in there. I mean, I'm usually used to like 75 average. But <laughs> I looked at the average yesterday. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Where did you all come from? But I'm happy that you are enjoying yourselves over here. Is the restart of Pi? Are you telling me I should restart every day my Pi run and keep those numbers up? <gasps> yes! I broke Twitch! <laughs> yeah, one step at a time, one step at a time. I'm, I'm a little bit more confident of this one. Like yesterday, like being tired, having a lack of concentration, and then also having that restart. Yeah, that, that was probably a doomed run to start off with. I think the hype train has helped? Maybe, maybe. Who knows? I mean, usually when you get the hype train, you do get some front page time. Maybe we were just lucky. Who knows? Who knows? I got the numbers now? I've got my numbers off. I didn't even look at them. Because it's kind of distracting when you look at your numbers. Every time I look at my numbers, I go like, hee hee, 69, hee hee. <laughs> and, <coughs> I should not laugh and swallow and breathe in at the same time. Um, you read where I read you on the, before the hype train? Really? What the hell? Well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Science. I still can't make because we need plants and we need uh, dirt and we need hydrate and we need everything. Let's do the hydrate first. Did he finish the first pyron? If you mind, mean the one from yesterday, yes. We finished that. If you mean pie in general, yes. We finished that as well. Um... There we go. What are we missing? Um, bricks. Oh, we never picked up the bricks. Um, not as much as people like to watch Exterminator to suffer. I think it's just a good portion of his house or rent payment trying to kill him. Yep. Yeah. They absolutely do. Oh, you know what we forgot to do over there? There we go. I'll take that. Good. Uh, well. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can count 13. Yeah, let's make these one by one. You can already see how long this is going to take over here. Like, making science packs in your pocket is just like... Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> so did you figure out what to do with ash? Um, you do need ashes for science. And actually, we should probably pick up some ashes. Um, Here we go. And we can use them later on for trees and stuff like that. But yeah, we do need ash uh, to make uh, automation signs. So how much ash can the crash ship hold? Um, about 5,000. There we go. You ever seen to see people like 50 plus dollar uh, nuke uh, donations on to nuke them? Yeah, I mean, that's one way to make a rent, you know? Um, good. Science packs. There we go. Good. What else are we missing? We're missing bricks. Bricks, 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 bricks. Over there. Uh, but for that, we need some more power. Here we go. So, pick up some more coal. And we go. We also need to figure out a better way of mining the field. The, the mine we built yesterday was not optimal in terms of... Um, it would leave stripes behind. And I don't really want to leave stripes behind if we can. Um, but for now, this is fine. This is definitely fine. Good. What else do we need for this? A lot of iron plates. Uh, we might even make a small path over here. Here we go. Uh, 
I guess you backed up on Kerrigan? Yeah, okay. Putting Kerrigan in these is also maybe not the best idea. Um... Let's try it a little bit different. Let's do something like this. That, that, that. This, this, this. Here we go. These can over here be powered by these. No issue at hand. Um, do they get in enough fuel on time? I guess they do. Yeah, they do get fuel. Perfect. Sure. Do it like that then. Uh, I guess it will be fine. How many bricks do we have? 92. Excellent. Uh, that means we can make no additional over here because we now need some more iron plates. How deep are the electric miners in the tree? Let's have a look. Uh, electric miners. They should be somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Uh, mining productivity. No, that's not them. Mm, they shouldn't be that deep in there. Uh, no, that's ceramics. Electric motors. No. Hmm. What are they called? Miners or something like that. Uh, what are they called? I don't have them over here. Mining drill? Maybe. Mimsy! Hello there! Thank you for your prime subscription. Um, let's have a look over here, maybe. Uh, they're called electric mining drill. Okay, let's look for drill then. Oh, here they are. There we go. Uh, they had their own icon, so it was kind of hard to see. Uh, we get mining fluid and then the electric mining drill. It is not too deep. Not too deep, but it will take a while to get there. Can't you make it right away? Nope. <laughs> they are not available to us. Can't you make them right away? There we go. Good, 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 good. Fill up everything, please. You got PTSD when you saw the tech tree? <laughs> yeah, the burner stage is going to do a while. That's also the reason why we kind of make some somewhat decent burner uh, setups over here. And do all of this. Make all of that. And then we need even more iron plates. I'm glad to see another Piano Nuts run start. I love the Pine Mods, but boy, are they a hassle sometimes. What? Nah. The only hard part is to start a game in the desert with Bites on. Uh, now we're in the deep forest with blighters on. Um, and you might think this is not a lot of blighters, but keep in mind, expansion is on. Uh, they will grow. And I will not spend my time to walk over there and shoot them in the face. They will grow on us. Um, so, even though that's maybe only like a little dot here and a little dot there, you know me, I'm not paying attention to anything. They will come. And they will eat us. A medium pie, I could make them from the start. And I have to see that the duration is different. Yes. Here we go. Give me some more bricks, please. I could make a path, but I don't think that's even worth it. Mods. The mods command is not in yet. Uh, I still need to, to get it all in. But if you want to have the list of mods and the save game, it's over there. You have a biter in your pocket? Ooh. Small little biter in my pocket. Good. But we're starting off with gun turrets because we're definitely going to need that. Uh, we don't need anything more over here. We don't need anything more over there. The only thing we need is a lot of iron plate. Um, and we're currently also making more miners. Excellent. Okay, can you see the list of the save? You can just load the save. And then it will try to sync the mods automatically. And that's how you can synchronize on the mods. There is this option over here. Like, if you go on load game, uh, you have, like, uh, sync mods with saves. All required mods are enabled. There we go. Fallen Angel! Hello there. How are you doing? So with this, you can just, like, grab any save and sync with those mods on them. And it will download the rest of them automatically. There we go. And you also get this map, so you can also play on this map if you want to. There we go. There we go. If you want to play along. Good. Uh, wait, something is wrong over here. Oh, something is very wrong. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, this thing over there, that thing over there, this thing over there, and that thing is already out. Good. Um, 
Here we go. Here we go. You back in. You back in. And then... Start operating over here. Start operating over there. Another new pirate from last night? Yeah, last night we got eaten by the biters. And, well... Yeah, I got reminded that biters are a thing in, Pi in, in Factorio. Especially in Pyanodons. Usually, um, when you play a game of vanilla, by the time the biters arrive, you usually already are in some kind of state where you at least have, like, one or two uh, ammo upgrades and some turrets at least. And making ammo is not hard. We didn't even add automation. <laughs> we didn't even have any kind of automation or assembly machines or anything like that. Um, yeah. We got eaten. We got eaten hard. And I was kind of thinking of, okay, we could just restart it. Go blind! Thank you so much for the lovely follow. And yeah, we could have maybe just restarted it or something like that. Um, and maybe spent some time and effort in, in trying to get it, um, it like on the good side again. But to be perfectly honest, we would probably just uh, um, spend like four or five hours on that, trying to fix that. Or, since we were only three hours in, yeah, just restart it. I mean, it, it, it was a better choice. And to be perfectly honest, I do like green maps more than, than desert maps. Desert maps are just like, ugh. <laughs> Good. He almost got eaten on this map. It was close. Ooh. Yeah, that's the reason why we immediately start with gun turrets over here. Three hours to no automation. Yep. <laughs> the sub of Memzi. No, 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 no. We, we did, I did definitely call out Memzi. Um, Coblight left the follow, and Memzi over there was with the prime. Um. Uh, Duh, and first time in chance. No, not Mamsy. Did, did Mamsy. Speak up, mate. Did I forget about you? Pretty sure I did not. But if I did, then, then uh, may a biter attack me. How about that? <laughs> no, no, you didn't forget. Ah, Maniac forgot that. Maniac, are you not paying attention? What's going on over there? <laughs> perfectly fine. It is perfectly fine. You're an avid lurker? Nice. Good, 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 good. Um, so, do we actually... Yeah, okay, we still need coal gas to mine this. Does that? Oh. That's new. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what is this? A fluid mining drill. When do we get that? I mean, we need aluminum. To do that is that mining with fluids. There we go. A fluid mining drill. We need steel for that. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's pick up some more of this. Good, 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 good. Um. Okay, I don't have any more science packs in my pocket. We also went through all the science packs over here. I guess it's fine. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The reason why I make these like one by one is um, so that we can more or less cancel it at any point. And power team makes you just love Pyanodons. I mean, would I not love Pyanodons if I would do this like for the second time already? I mean, I really did enjoy the first Py run we did. And even though it took a lot of time, there were some incredible builds in that, and I do hope that they kind of updated the game, at least in a way that, that we can see some new incredible builds. They, uh, let's have a quick peek at this, for example. They they took out, if I remember correctly, they took out weird steam recipes. Like, we still need steam here and there for some of the crafts. That is perfectly fine. But they completely took out things like, like cold steam or not too hot steam and stuff like that. So whenever we need steam, we just need steam. And we don't need, like, uh, 50 degree steam, 40 degree steam, 50, 100 degree steam, and stuff like that. Which I'm pretty much looking forward to. We still need some steam here and there. Oh, this one is still in. Oh, this was an incredible one. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Also, we can't close this real quick. We don't need that. Good. Uh, yeah, some carrageen. Pick up the copper plate. We got a whole bunch of copper plates. We don't really have a lot of iron plates. Um, oh, and that, that science is just taking forever. 
There we go. Pick this all up. There we go. Uh, I got three more science packs for you. Have fun. And why are all the ore patches around the starting point of the map visible without a way to them? Top Corp. Uh, we've got RSO installed. I do kind of recommend installing RSO if you play with Pi. Because RSO disables all ore generation on map generation. It adds ore patches to the game while you go. Um, and there's an option over here in mod settings. And whenever RSO spawns in a, mod, uh, um, uh, a resource patch, it will tell you over here and it will um, reveal the map around it. Which means we already get to see where the ore patches are without actually having to go over there. Um, in my opinion, it's what well, you could consider cheating. Of course, you can consider, consider every mod cheating. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really want to spend too much time running around the map trying to look for a certain set of ores when they can just be shown up like this. Uh, and do you have any cookies or snoppers? No, I don't. I don't. Um, I will probably buy like a bazillion cookies tomorrow because I can already tell that the garage day tomorrow is going to be a horrible one. And it's not only going to be one garage day, it's going to be two because there will probably be a whole bunch of bickering and people wanting everything to work. And I will probably just sit there and go like, yep, yeah, <laughs> I'm giving everything I got, Captain. Um, but it will not go any faster. You need every kind of cheat and fight. <laughs> Nah, I do like quality of life, but it, it, it should not be too much quality of life. There, there is like an upper limit of how much quality there is. And that's a nice mod, never tried it. Yeah, I mean, for 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 every mod pack or every, every base mod that you have that has like a lot of different ores. And let's face it, Pi has a metric ton of ores. Like there's, I think, 30 entries or something in that list. If you use the vanilla ore generation, these patches over here, they will be spawned on top of each other, in the, next to each other and stuff like that. And to be perfectly honest, that is annoying. I don't really like to spend time to, to try to cut out patches. Uh, and sometimes you also have like um, patches that are just touching and touching patches are even more annoying. It will still happen every now and then. That's fine. Um, but also, they, it, it spreads them around a little bit more sane. And uh, RSO is really, really nice for that. There we go. There we go. How long to repair? I need 10 hours. Thank you for six. I do it in four. <laughs> now, I think I will just be like, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to drink beer. Goodbye. <laughs> good, 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 good. Yeah, very German classic sentence over there. When it's... I almost didn't really recognize it at first. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ah. Please treat yourselves to them coconut knoppers and those German cookies um, with the sugary pattern on them. The German cookies with the sugary pattern. Oh, do you mean? Wait a minute. Um. Oh, God. I think I know what you mean. Um. Oh. I have something in my mind's eye but i don't even know how to google that <laughs> and the man thank you so much for dropping by and have a good one mate mm, there we go there we go there we go good 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 oh yeah put that one in there as well i really like the minus little defeat itself it's a nice change from the usual minor loop yes so, we still have to get the ash out of here. That's also a thing we need to do. Now, to get the ash out, uh, we do have a solution for that as well. I mean, at some point in time, we're going to need, like, more miners over here. And we can just continue this loop. Uh, over here. And then, to get the ash out... Mm, wait. We do it like this. If we snake this through... And with this, uh, the miners do have a reach of four cells. So we've fetched the full pack, uh, the full patch, or the full pack. Patch, patch, patch. There we go, the patch, the full patch. Uh, and it can all sustain itself. Oh, those. I had, I did not think about Lebkuchen. <laughs> I thought about a whole different set of cookies. Um, yes. Uh, but Macalito, uh, Lipkuchen is one thing, but we also got something else over here. Uh, that's called tree cookies, uh, called Baumkuchen. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's get automation in. Uh, there we go. And after that, probably steel walls. Um, pocket crafting speed increase, maybe. Soil washing. Okay, it already goes and everything. And we're both the solution to a specific bot and uh, as the engineer thinking ahead of maintenance and access. Yep. Yeah, we're not installing squeak through. No, never. Pick better bases. Come on. <laughs> we're not installing squeak through. Um, here we go. Good. Check the research cards for follow-up live searches. Yeah, 150. I guess that's fine. I mean, sure. Vanilla kip for and Simpson for me. Ooh, yeah, it's about Christmas time again. So we should not forget that Halloween is also around. Um, and Halloween usually gets like shafted when Christmas comes around. It's always the time of the year. It's probably also pretty weird for Americans. I mean, here in Germany. We already complain about that uh, we go to the supermarket and suddenly everywhere there's like Christmas cookies. Uh, already like in June or something like that. Uh, well, probably not June, but um, you get it, you get it. Um, but yeah, in, in, in America, well, you got like Halloween now, then it's Thanksgiving, or is it first Thanksgiving and Halloween? How does it go? And then shortly after, you got like uh, Christmas, and then you go like, yep. <laughs> Halloween is oppressed by Christmas? Yes. And Dr. Fox, is this a real sort of pie? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas. There we go. Thank you, Asparagus. I can only know which season it is currently in America by... Depending on what kind of current episode is running on The Simpsons. Like, oh, it's the, uh, the Halloween episode, so it must be Halloween. <laughs> and yes, we have Thanksgiving keeping guard from Christmas, expanding earlier uh, this season. <laughs> I mean, if you want to make some money, just try to crossbreed like, um, what's it called again? Um, a turkey with like uh, a pumpkin, and then you probably can make the best thing ever, like uh, a perky. Let's call it a perky. Yes, make a perky. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Um, I guess we need more bricks. Just invent the perky. We already did that and we got our former president. Oh god. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure that was not a pumpkin. I'm pretty sure that was a tomato. Or maybe an orange. Uh, probably of the annoying kind. Um, here we go. In Hill, they have Easter eggs for sale four days after Christmas. <laughs> and a North American confusion as follows. Canadian Thanksgiving, Halloween, Remembrance, Veterans Day for Canadians. And then American Thanksgiving. Uh, and then Christmas stuff. And then... <laughs> good, 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 good. And Halloween is October 31st, right? Well, in the USA, you can uh, be sure to see Halloween Deco costumes uh, in late July, early August. It's odd. Yeah. I mean, here in Germany, the, the, that whole trick-or-treat Halloween tradition is not really practiced, at least where I live, but, uh, well, mostly because of, of, of like, like, uh, like, like American influences, a lot of people still try it. And I was kind of confused like two years ago when there was like somebody at my door and it was like, hello, what is it? Trick or treat? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I have to prepare anything. Huh? <laughs> and this election day also a new holiday? Or is it only for election and election elections? Uh... Well, we won't have to ask the other guys for that. Hey, Germans have like things like Marzipan and the best in the world. Yes, we do. And we go, and we go, and we go. Eat all of this, please. Good. You know what we did do? Um, we did research gun turrets, but we've not really done much with them. Oh, that sucks, but <laughs> that requires so much crafting time. Ah. <laughs> Let's hope we can get automation done. Um, I guess we need some more automation packs. Yeah, make six more. 
There's like five more in there, and we need at least... Yeah, we need at least more. Good, 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 good. Let's fire up these over here some more. There we go, there we go. Good, 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 good. That's not a lot of iron plates. I kind of want more iron plates. Um, but I also kind of want to get defenses up and running first and foremost. Uh, we need that automation. I don't really want to be pocket crafting all the time. I would rather have a machine where I throw some stuff in every now and then. And hope that it just does its thing for now. Mm, what are we missing to make more of these science packs? Is it dirt? It is dirt. We have to dig up some dirt. There we go. Done. Um, we have a big bowl of fruit that they give to the neighbor kids. Funny, they don't come and bring the pelt off from these pasta of weeds. What? Fruit? And then you just sit there. Where did all the cookies go? Where? Nowhere. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> big clown! What are you tired I see Pyanodons? Yes, we already tried it yesterday. And I kind of failed. <laughs> I kind of failed at Pyanodons yesterday. Um, mostly because uh, we were playing on the desert map, and, well, the desert map ate us. Here we go, here we go. Man, the amount of character we get out of this is also pretty darn good. Here we go, here we go. Good. It was interesting to see if you could add, uh, add it into the knowledge to make some pocket crafting faster. Uh, oh, you mean you mean this one over here, the quality of life research? I think you can. It's it's a pretty simple research, I think. Also, ooh, oh, it goes all the way up to infinite. Nice inventory size, intermediate interference. What is the difference between this and this? No, oh, it's it's probably just. Oh, okay, I see how they do it. Yeah, that's fine. And we don't have anything we can put in there. Good. Somewhere between wood and oil. Nice. Yeah, put it in there. Ah, we're still making pocket belt. That's what we're doing over here. I see, I see, I see. I mean, we could set up more of the mining over here. We could maybe already think about setting up some of the smelters. Uh, we could just make, like, those smelters again over here. We remember them. Um... Here we go. But we could maybe also think about making the smelters maybe a little bit better this time around. We don't have any splitters. <laughs> oh, God, we don't have any splitters. <laughs> um, but we can at least think about it a little bit. Oh, yeah. These are not three by three. There we go. Did the same mistake the last time around as well. I mean, this is usually a good way to put stuff in. Hmm. We could belt weave in the middle if we really want to uh let me just get the ghost of this real quick there we go we could do something stupid like this that will not work at all wait a minute what am i even thinking over here um no <laughs> no uh just no hmm No, 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 no. I was kind of hoping we could do this maybe with, with less undergrounds and stuff like that. But I, in the end, I think we were just going to get more undergrounds if we do it like this. Here we go. There we go. There we go. We could just do it like this and then move you back down. There we go. And then you over there, uh, whitelist, you're going to be our nice iron plates. And then you over there. Whitelist, you're gonna be uh, our ash. There we go. Eh. Good, 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 good. How do you belt with a funny yellow belt? I, I think I had something in my mind, and then, then I kind of realized now it doesn't work. <laughs> Did you remove bite expansion? No, bite expansion is on. The biters will walk on top of us at some point in time. I kind of think that's the, the best um, 
the best of both worlds. We will not see a lot of nests out there. But the nests that are out there, they will grow. They will slowly expand. They will slowly give us grief. And I think that's the best way to do it. So this should give us enough time to work on the things that we need. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then we can do this. And that. And this. And this will be our smelter. Yeah, pick these up real quick. There we go. And then, oh. You over there, and you over there. There's a lot of pollution already, and there's a nest just south of that. That's not a lot of pollution. The pollution stops right over there. <laughs> there's a nest over here, and there's a nest all the way over there. It should be fine. It should be fine. But we can place it all the way over here next to the trees. Uh, and make sure that we do our processing over here. So we can... Ah, wait. Pick this one up. Pick this one up. I remember this. I remember. We do it like this. And then flip you. Flip you. Flip you. How many do we want of these? That's 16. That's 20 again. And then... That will be our first smelting for iron and for copper. There we go. <laughs> um, we could combine the ash output over here. Hmm. Hmm. Next on the cliff of the visible area. Where? Am I missing something? Not visible yet. Oh, on your map. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. I mean, if we have some friends down there, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, we're not crafting anything in the moment in the pocket. Uh, make guns. Just get turret. I want turrets ASAP. We already got the turrets. Here we go. And we're going to get automation next. And then we're just going to set up an automation for gun turrets, ammo. And I think the next signs over here is steel and then walls. Let's do walls first and then steel. <laughs> prepared <laughs> ah. a pie death world yeah a pie death world I like I like one nest alone is already good enough for a pie death world good 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 um got a bit of belts um yeah, pocket craft, all of these. We're going to need all of those. Pocket craft, all of these. We're going to need more iron plates for that. Okay, you are out of fuel. Pick up all of these. There we go. And then... I guess make all of these inserters. It'll be fine. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Pick up all of this, please. And they want the rampant in here, too. Yes, I mean, if Rampant only increases, like, the AI of the fighters, where they will, like, do specific attacks, that will be fine, but, uh... Nah, we, we're, we're gonna be busy enough. There we go, there we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, that's all going, that's going, that's going, that's going. <laughs> repair packs. Oh, we could start making repair packs if we need to. Uh, we do got some turrets in our pockets, that is fine. Um... We need some more coal to make some more guns. We also need some more bricks. So let's make sure that we pocket craft some guns. And the best part is, as soon as we get automation, we can just put down like a couple of machines that just sit there and start crafting like small things. Nah, that's all the bricks we already have. That's maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, I have to smack. And let's use the cure again for this. And you get this. There we go. Keep that rolling for now. And then we can make five ammo. Five? Oh, we need iron plate for that as well. Ugh. Meh. Meh. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. I've seen them running a death world with Pi, all the mods. The beginning was very hard, of course. You had flame turrets, and then it's significantly easier. Yeah, but flame turrets are still kind of... Oof. 
it's still kind of oof. And even getting to flame turrets is going to take a while. I mean, Wasations did that a while ago. And most of the time they were building... Um, well, they weren't really producing a lot. They were, most of the time they were just rebuilding the walls over and over again. Uh, because things got eaten all the time. Here we go. Here we go. Now, like I, like I always say, um, I don't really need all the biters. I just need a couple of biters that keep me, like, on my toes, that prevent me from building stupid things in places where they don't need to be, uh, and help to shape the base a bit. I mean, you definitely do see a difference on a map that's played on Peaceful or without biters than a map that's played with biters. Uh, the Peaceful maps usually... They usually end up like one big line, and that's just super boring. <laughs> Good. Um, we can't make assembly machines now. It's burner assemblers. Oh, what the fuck? Uh... And back to your peaceful map was not like that. Just because uh, some people build like that doesn't mean that everybody builds like that, of course. Um, but you'll stop doing a main boss for after a while. <laughs> Uh, I, I thought it would be electric assemblers. Yep, it's burner assemblers. Well, we can make six of them. Let's make six of them. We're gonna need them. Good. It also puts out the coal. What? What? If you use the blacklist of ash, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you use the blacklist of a uh, blacklist of ash uh, on the plate output, you can use the same instead without changing it for all the different plates. Nope, it will take out the ash and the coal. Uh, actually, it will take out the, uh, the coal uh, that's in here. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Um. No, all the way around. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then you over there. You over there. You over there. You over there. Good. 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 Okay, we definitely do need some more inserters. Um, but yes, main bus and pie extra challenge. Yeah, I mean, if you make a main bus and pie, well, it, it will probably look pretty impressive, but also it's it's gonna be absolutely tedious. Can you daisy change fuel from smelters? Oh, we could do that. But then again, we're already going to have a half and half line. Like, half of it will be ore, the other half will be, um, uh, will be coal. So, we don't really need that. But yes, we could daisy chain the fuel. That is absolutely true. I mean, that's how you sometimes make steel smelters. Here we go, here we go. Okay, let's make one of these. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. And then we need a whole bunch more plates. There we go. Good, 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 good. What do we need? What do we need? Um, We need undergrounds. How many? Ten. Make 10 of these, please, and then make more belt. Good. Oh, assembly machines. Finally. We can make a bit of a stupid grid over here. Um, there we go. There we go. You. Um, where is that? You make this. Make sticks. You make gears. You make wire. You make bolts. You make small parts. Air conductors. Uh, and now that I think about it, we could maybe even set it up. Wait a minute. Yeah, you go over there. What do we need for these air conductors? Copper sticks. This one. Perfect. You only need plates. You need copper wire and stuff like that. Yeah, let's start off with these over here. And put all of this in. There we go. Pick this up. Pick that up. There we go. Start working on that. Um, I do need some more inserters. Nah. Or use the ash line for fuel. Um, you have a full belt of ore and fuel plates. Yeah, we will see. We will see. 
And guys, I don't know how to see it, but I would rather not tell Bolt and anything to join this face once you know certain things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the realization sometimes over here kind of happens every now and then. I do know about the Fearing Victory research we need to do to get the victory over here in Pine, so it's going to take some time. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Really? Where did, where did all my plate go? What the hell? <laughs> Oh, the plate making is just way too slow. Way too slow. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Um, we definitely need one of these, even though it's not the best recipe right now for... Oh, we can only handcraft this. What the fuck? <laughs> no! Ah! Uh... <laughs> Is that how far the fuel? Yeah, we also need to fuel it. Uh, there we go. Uh, we could maybe... Nah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Uh, okay, it seems the ammo recipe we have we can only handcraft. Uh, that's fine for now. But yeah. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. You should make nets. Um... I don't have anything for this. I do have this for you. There we go. Uh, we could make guns. We can at least make gun turrets over here. There we go. That will at least keep us going for a bit. Um, and then I do want to make more assemblers. But for more assemblers, I need more plates. There we go. Make four more, please. You have this. And then you want one of these. You want one of those. There we go. So then we can make these air core inductors over here every now and then when we need them. We will just feed the, uh, fill these up by hand for now. Uh, no need, no real reason to set up an automation over there yet. Just so that I don't have to pocket craft everything in my pocket all the time, you know? Good. Mm. We could play some random turrets around over here. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Just as a defensive procedure. Uh, just to be sure, you know? Just to be sure. There we go. There we go. Good. What else do we need? What else do we need? Um, the method is playing with Pythus? Absolutely, I'm playing with Pythus. It's the only way I wanted to play with Pi. Play with Pythus. Good. Pocket craft some more. All of that over there is out of fuel. Is research stalled? No, um, well, yes. I mean, research is not even automated yet. <laughs> it's more like we haven't made any research, you know? <laughs> Let's see if we can set up some, some, some automatic research production over here. Uh, we can do that, okay. We do need small parts for that, okay. Uh, let's make small parts over here then. Mm, small parts. You need bolts, gears, and... Okay, let's not make this over there then. Uh, you need bolts, gears, and copper wire. Let's pick you up real quick. So you can make more copper wire. You can make bolts. You need sticks for that. So we can make sticks over there. And you make gears. There we go. And all of this together can make some small parts. If we get some more iron plate in there. And we seem to be further ahead of the last pleasure already. What did you miss? Well, I'm more or less focused it down a little bit more. Uh, but we have not built a smelter yet. <laughs> We've planned it, but we have not built it yet. Uh, stop that real quick. Here we go. Pick up the stuff that we have in our pockets over here. And then we need to make a little bit less. Nice. Good. Uh, we also need to plant a box over here. And then the source of fl uh, flowers. Plant the boxes. Yeah, we should maybe also try to make those in an assembly machine or something like that. So pick up all of these, pick up all of those, make three more of these, there we go. And then this, that, this, that, this. Nah, technically we also need small parts over here, but actually it goes the other way around. Um, you make the planter boxes. You make these, there we go. And we need one more, you over there. No, 
nope, that's not this one. That is... There we go. We need one of these. Where is it? We need one of these. We need a wood processing unit. So that we can cut down the trees a little bit faster into uh, wood. I'll about some ammo as well. The recipe that we have, we can only make that in a pocket. <laughs> Um, the recipe to automate ammo is over here. We can make that, I think, in the crafting machine. Or maybe there's a special building to do that. I'm actually not quite sure, but I could not set it up in there. Uh, ammo, 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 craft. Yeah, this is handcraft only. And this is done in an assembly machine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's pocket craft 24 in a pocket. Why not? Uh, so wait a minute. I do want to do this thing first, and for that we need even more. Uh, make one of these, and then make ammo. There we go. Good. And then something like this, something like that. Sure. Uh, you get this, you get that. Let's pick up some fuel. And we're going to have a very simple crafting cluster over here. It will just sit there, and it will just... Make stuff. Here we go. Good. All of that is in. Here we go. You ready to make some over there? Uh, yeah, we definitely need way more iron plates. Like all of the iron plates that we can get. Uh, we should probably focus on this over here real quick. So. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. And then we can finish up this thing over here. Uh, we got some more inserters that we need for that. There we go. You, you, almost. You, 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 and you. As well as you. There we go. There we go. Good. Let's maybe set this thing up over here and start automatically feeding it. Now, I did kind of notice that we had some kind of nice way um, to get the coal in on the line. So we will have the main coal line go over here. And then we're going to need one, two, three. Okay, four. The main coal line needs to be a little bit higher then. Hmm. Four and then five, six, seven, eight, and then main core line will be somewhere over here. Somewhere around that cliff. Nice. Uh, I already hate that. <laughs> um, pocket belts. No, let's not make any pocket belts. Let's make sure that we can automate um, some small parts over here. Also, this thing over here needs more fuel. There we go. Uh, let's try to pick up some more fuel, because we are going to need some more fuel. Here we go. Good. Now, for a mod pack called Alternative Energy, I was kind of thinking that there would maybe be more wind power at the beginning of the game. Maybe we get it later. Maybe we don't get it at all. But I'm kind of curious to see how this will go. That was not the thing I wanted to pick up. <laughs> there we go. Uh, are the powerhouses still in? Um, where were they? Were they over here? Were they over here? Now, where were they? Pi alternative energy. Ooh. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, let's not look at that right now. Um, okay, we've got some drills, some centrifuges, some steam turbines, Mark 1. Oh. Nuclear reactor mark one. Oh, a hot horizontal axis wind turbine mark one. Okay, they do exist. Uh, and did you restart? I was sure uh, there was more iron in the copper furnace last time, right? Yeah, we did restart. We got eaten by biters, sadly. Um, here we go. Now we got some more plates. Okay, this thing over the air. Yeah, it's now making small parts. There we go. Uh, we also got this machine. 
There we go. I remember you. Make wood. You yeah, have this. Make wood. If this one makes five, that's the same recipe, but it doesn't... Oh, God, it's that big loud. Shut up already! <laughs> what? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Good. And then... We can drop all of this in there. What do we need for the air? This and that. There we go. And then you get some plants. Is that a wood multiplier? No. But that is how you put logs into wood. Let me just go to the settings real quick. Sound. Is that simulators? No. Um. That is probably game effects. No. Environmental sounds? Maybe. Good, good, good. Oof. Um, maybe not pick up that many plants, to be perfectly honest. There we go. Just pick up a couple. Uh, there we go. And that is at least science over here automated. At least somewhat. Um, still gonna not be very, very fast, but at least uh, every now and then we can go over there, pick up some science, and just throw it into the science machine. There we go. Uh, we can also pick up some small parts every now and then. It's not really super duper automated, but um, yeah, it'll get the job done. It will get the job done. Good. Okay, all this coal. Perfect. Yeah, let's make sure that we can at least get our, uh, our iron plate production stabilized. Because I already kind of dislike having to go over here all the time and pick up all of the stuff. Automated handcrafting. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Good. Um, yeah, you need some more plates. There we go. Let me pick up this. Oh, there we go. Let me pick up that. There we go. Uh, I do have one more of these. Um, yeah, you make belt. There we go. And then we throw this over there. And this is a restart. This is a factory of your Isekai. <laughs> A fighter took control of a truck and just drove me over. I think there actually is an EZK out there where something similar to a Factorio dude gets like reincarnated and just starts rebuilding everything. <laughs> I think I heard something about that. Um, here we go. And give me all the kerogene. As that is good fuel. Here we go. The, the camera gain over here is, is pretty, pretty nice. Though it has less fuel value than the raw coal, but since we currently just get it for free, why not? Is this a piece of uh, playthrough? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not putting it onto peaceful. The first tech we did is, is um, tourists over here. We already got one over there. And we're researching stone walls for a reason. Here we go, here we go, because we are going to need those stone walls ASAP. Mm. But we're definitely already moving along better. Uh, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely do need... Okay, um, this is not good. Yeah, you over, you over there. Uh, and you do this. And you do that, and give me an inserter for that. We need some iron plates, because we need some iron plate for that. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Good. And make two of them or something like that. There we go, pick up some of these. Put that over there. Put that over there, and there we go. Now, we don't need to worry about that for a while. Good. Uh... Uh, will he just stop at four? He will probably just stop at four all the time. Well, doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. As long as that one is going, I'm fine with that. Good, 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 good. Uh, we could also pick up these air conductors every now and then. Uh, it's probably also going to be a good idea. Turrets. Yes. Ultimate these. Well, if we get some more small parts for that, we need some more plates. Here we go. 
But let's maybe focus on the plates and let's maybe focus on getting the coal over there. Um, we could just flip it around. <laughs> go the other way. And then we just go up, over. And what did we start again with Pi? Because Pi is amazing and I really enjoy playing Pi. Here we go, here we go. And then we need inserters, there we go. I mean, I really did enjoy that last Pi playthrough we did. It took two years, but <laughs> why not play some more? Here we go, pick up. Yeah, have some more of this. Also, there's a new version of Pi, yes. I mean, it's not like we're playing the exact same game again. No, Pi has been updated significantly. Um, and because of that, I told myself, you know what? Let's start a new playthrough of Pi. And then, at some point in time, we'll be working on the next mod. And then, we have to do it again. Fuck. <laughs> Good. Give me those small parts, please. Put them in there. Make some more belts. Here we go. Uh, do we have these two? Yes, we do. Here we go. Good. Okay, we can already set up the first half. Um, let's set up the first half. I think we can... Once we have enough belts... And once we made sure that we have enough belts... And once we're absolutely sure that we have enough belts... Oh, <laughs> sad. No splitters. Ah, that will be fine. You don't always need splitters. Come on. Come on. And I remember every time you die, your world gets deleted. Nah. <laughs> and we'll bolt finish before the DLC is coming out? No. <laughs> that DLC? Oh, God. I haven't even thought about that one yet. Uh, at some point in time, the DLC will come out. And then we have to play even more Factorio. <laughs> I think I will never stop playing Factorio. Shit. I want to play other games. Well, I will play other two games at some point in time. It'll be fine. Uh, good, 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 good. What are we missing over here? Bricks. Have some bricks, please. More Factorio. How terrible. And none of this will be done before the DLC, right? Right? Yeah, the none of playthrough, I don't think we can abandon that one. People seem to be enjoying that one a lot, and I actually also can enjoy it. Um, I still need to figure out a way how we can, like, triple balance, Nullius, um, SpaceX, and <laughs> Pi. Uh, we might maybe just go a little bit in a round robin or something like that every now and then. Uh, there's only so many days in the week where I can stream. Uh, and maybe every now and then, like, we, we skip, like, one of them, like, per week or something like that. Uh, and we just take turns. I think it will be fine. Good, 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 good. Make all this belt. Excellent. Let's start picking all of this up. Okay, we need to figure out this thing again. This time, in a way, so that we can know that we can get these ashes out without any issue. Just play the DLC after Pi Fix. <laughs> oh god, my inventory is full. What the hell? Uh... I like keep different versions fresh with a small break. Yeah, something like that. I think that might just be the best way to do it. And then just go like, take turns. Just take turns. Okay, if we want to mine this as wide as we can, then we can end up with something like this. And again, we, we, we are spitballing over here just to see how we can set this up. We could... Oh, I think I got it. Do we got it? Mm. E yes. This will work. We need the fuel line? Mm. Shit. <laughs> Maybe. Wait a minute. Um, I was kind of thinking of something like this. Um... Yeah, that will actually work if we do it like this. If we do it like this, um, let's get some of these. Oh. Uh. Uh. 
give me those plates, please. We are going to need those. If we do it like this, we can also get... Uh, we can get the, the iron ore on the left side. And we can get the, um, um, the, the ash on the right side. Combine fuel line and ash line. Maybe. I mean, we're, we're already going to come out with like half a line for... Ooh, actually. Um, if we then intensify this... We can get even more. But then the fuel line. <gasps> I see it. <laughs> I see it. Do you see it? I see it. Um, do I see it? Maybe. Shit. No. That will not work. Let's pick these up. I was kind of thinking about maybe just putting something over here. And then... But over here, the next line already starts. Uh... Unless we combine... I mean, we, we might want to combine the fuel line and the ash line. Then we, then we might be able to pull it off. Because then we can think of something like this. We can definitely do something like this. Uh, all of this will be put out on the same side. Um, no. You have stripes however you do it, but I don't want stripes. I want to figure out a way how I don't have stripes. I, I know one way to do it without having stripes. But it will eat up a metric ton of underground. And, if possible, I don't want to have underground in there. We have something like this, maybe. Mm. Stripes? Yeah, stripes in terms of... Um, we, can, we can easily make it in a way where we have a distance of five between them. But then we will have a stripe in the middle. Like, for example, we could do something like this. Um, and then turn these around, and then we have, like, the main output line over there, main output line over there, and over here we can do fuel and ash. That's one way of doing it, but I want to figure out a way how we can do it without any of that. Um, and for that, this thing needs to be over here. Now, if we skip every other one, if we skip every other one, we can... Ooh, <laughs> that's again going to have a lot of undergrounds. Unless... <laughs> um, yeah, you know how we could do it? Mm, actually, wait a minute. Mm, the burner face is that long? The burner face is going to be for a while. Hmm... Same as coal. I mean, we could just put the iron ore and the ash on the same belt. And then that... Oh. Yeah, that could work. Will that work? Wait a minute. So... No. No, 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 no. We could have a gap like this every now and then. I mean, a gap like this would allow us to do something like this. Full belt like this. There we go. Um, and then... Hmm. No, that's shit. <laughs> yep, finish polar bear. The desert ate us. The days desert absolutely ate us. Uh, not like this. Okay. Uh, also, mm, uh, we should not pocket craft at the moment. Think, mm, think, 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 think. Uh, let me just pick up this real quick. What are you missing? You're missing planted boxes. You're missing soil. I don't have any soil on me. And don't like how the miner spits out ashes automatically. Yeah, that would be the easiest way to do that. If the miner would just spit out the ashes automatically. 
will be bloody amazing. Here we go. Good. Um, okay, Stripe Plus. And if possible, Underground Plus. Mm. And if possible, as dense as we can put them over here, but we can put some freedom in the density. We can put some freedom in the density. Wait a minute. Mm. What will this do? That's the same we had before with extra steps. Unless. No, it's the same as before with extra steps. <laughs> um... We can minimize the amount of stripes. I mean, we can weave. No, we can't weave anything through here. Mm. Is two outsiders and not the outer output? Yeah, but then we're still gonna have the issue. Um, the truth of the possible. Yeah, we've, um, yeah, and also, yeah, yeah. I think I know how we're gonna do it. Okay, this, this is going to be... We can't do it like this. We can't absolutely do it like this. But this over here has a massive, massive footprint. Or not really a massive, massive footprint. It, it more or less has like... Yeah, it will not mine very fast. Let's put it like that. We're not going to get a lot of ore out of this if we do it like this. This will work. But it will not work how we want it to work. We could live with the stripe and just bite the apple and go like, here, yeah, sure, let's have the stripe. I don't care. Uh, then we can do it like this. Go one, two, and then have the next row over here. Uh, and then what do we do with the fuel? Uh, actually, this one needs to be one over then. Um... And yes, this one will be one over. There we go. Then we have to swipe in the middle. This guy over here can go straight if we want to, but then what do we do over here? This thing over here could be... Oh, uh, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. Um, and for fuel with undergrounds? Okay, we, we could maybe go with a couple of undergrounds. Did you research cryanodons? No. Yes. Maybe. What? <laughs> We're definitely not playing Pi again. We're absolutely playing Pi again. Uh, let's see. We had one design that I kind of liked. What was that? Um, I mean, this one over here. This one kind of makes sense. This one gives us like half a belt of the one thing and half a belt of the other thing. And then we can just uh, do some, some splitter magic over here. Mm, that could work. That could definitely work. And then we need to get the fuel in. And we could get the fuel in on the backside over here. And that will be the stripe. Yeah. That will be a massive stripe. Because we need a whole other lane over here. Yeah. Unless we place this one over here. And then we got another stripe over here. Because then this will be the fuel line. This will be a fuel line. Every one of these middle lines will be a stripe at the end. So be it. Uh, but with that, at least we can get it rolling. But this over here will then break. Because then we get mixed belt inputs. Ah. Oh. Okay, option two. Mm. You will half load with coal anyway, won't you? Yes. Oh, yes. I mean, hmm. Wait a minute. That makes me think. Since we already half load, yeah, you're completely correct. We already half load with coal either way. So instead of putting the coal on the belt over there, we might just already preload the coal over here and just push it all through together. 
Um, then we could have something like this while this stays. And then we feed it in like this. Uh, we can already make this like a half belt of coal. And then the iron ore comes on top, and then we just feed it over there. Then we don't need that big belt over there. That will be fine. And then, as for the ashes... Yeah, for the ashes, we we're still going to have to stripe them afterwards for the ashes. Unless... Oh, a filter inserter would be... Or a <laughs> splitter would be so good for this. Call an ash on one side and ore on the other. Hmm. We could also just ignore the ashes. <laughs> we could just ignore the ashes. But then we have to come over here every now and then and pick up the ashes. Um, which is not the thing I like to do. What we also could do is... You might think, what the hell? But what we could do is just put some chests over here and actually pick up the ashes by hand every now and then. But then we might as well just make a belt over here. But then... Uh... Or, and this is where the underground comes in. We do it like this. We copy this over. And... Tumbling satellites. Hello! How is my favorite worst out there? <laughs> Is it the worst? No, it's the sausage. Wait, did you, did you, did you rename that one? Oh no, it's absolute worst. There we go. Uh, it didn't really show up over here. And Silent Storm. Now you're in here twice. What? Have you been watching somebody else on the side? <gasps> Tumbling satellite. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome to us playing Pyanodons. And we already had to restart once because we were playing on the desert map and well, I got eaten. I just got eaten. <laughs> I absolutely got eaten. <laughs> good, 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 good. Guys, we got raided by the magnificent monster that fell on the floor. <laughs> Speaking of, what do you have for me there? Show me. Um, yeah, something like that could work. Something like that will absolutely work. Uh, but then we still are going to have to stripe, don't we? No, wait. Is there a stripe in there? Yeah, but that's basically the same solution. Yeah, that, that is the, the least dense version. For a big field, that will probably work. Stripe less. Yeah, stripe less. But this tiny field over here. Ah, we're not going to get a lot of ore out of that if we do it like that. But maybe let's go for that at least. And then we have at least something going for us. Um, there we go. So, let's restart this one guy. And Maniac, or any one of the other moderators out there. Or maybe even VIPs. Could I get... Ah, thank you, Maniac. Could I get a lovely, lovely shout-out for Mr. Tumbling Satellite, who is the absolute... What is sausage on French? <laughs> is that like, uh, Susich? No, that, that will probably not work. It's probably not Susich. Um, is it... Is it... Uh, Viner? No. Uh... <laughs> So it's close enough? Really? It is? <laughs> I was just guessing something stupid. <laughs> All right. Um, I still got an emote slot over there. Um, so you know what? We're going to commit to a sausage. Wait. A sexy sausage. Like, not that other thing. Good. Where else are we going to get the sausage emote then? There we go. There we go. And do not confuse my kindness with weakness. Yep, 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 yep. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, sausage. Ah, it kind of reminds me. Uh, for, for all those Germans out there, like, like, at some point in the day, I mean, if you want to be a vegan and all, that's perfectly fine. Um, but uh, there's also this, this veganism day, and I think it's usually on first day. And um, one of those big car companies had a little bit of an issue with that. It was Volkswagen. 
And the, the general director of Volkswagen was very pissed off about it that um, uh, currywurst was not available in the cantina on vegan day anymore. And he made, <laughs> he made a big fuss out of that one. A uh, sexy soldier with a beard. Wait a minute. Yes, we'll put a beard on that. We put a beard on that. With a beard. There we go. Done. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what Ferrero's going to make out of that. Uh, I just tossed it at her head and was like, here, I want this as an emote. Make it so. Please, get into the filthiest and darkest corner of your mind and make a, se a sexy sausage with a beard and horns. And horns. <laughs> paid for them. I got their invoice today, so I still have to press on the pay button. Um, but yes, yes, yes. A horny, sexy sausage, if you will. <laughs> also a helmet. I will think you get the drift. <laughs> good, 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 good. I mean, all those... I should actually ask um, uh, McFloss if he wants a specific emote, because we're mostly getting those emotes because of his generous donation. McFloss, are you, are you looking in here? If you want your own personal emote, please do tell me. <laughs> because those 50 gifted tier 3 subs, like, what the fuck? <laughs> good, 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 good. And it's done, boys. Needed to, um, wait, uh, needed content. So now we have content for the rest of his life. Yes. A French or German sausage. Well, the, the, the German ones are usually, it depends on where you go. Like, if you go to East Germany, they're usually pretty long and raw. <laughs> if you go to Bavaria, they're tiny and white. Um, if you go to Berlin, yeah, they're burnt. And you should probably not eat them. <laughs> um, if you go to uh, the Rhineland Pfalz, they're filled with cheese and probably with bacon around them. Uh... <laughs> Um, let's see, is there, yeah, and if you go to the, to the Black Forest, they're usually filled with wild pig. <laughs> I need to mind this, come on. Okay, let's figure out something, let's just make something that works. Like, like, we, we again are sitting over here thinking about how we could do it the best way around, and we are not coming up with the best solution. Um, so we're going to do quite the opposite, we're going to make the worst solution. Uh, and we are going to blame it all on Tumbling Satellites. There we go. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, so, yeah, put this all out on the half belt. That will be fine. Then half and half belt over here for Cole and for uh, Ash. So we're just going to do something like this and that. And you have an air. Whitelist. Ash. There we go. And this is all because of tumbling satellites. There we go. <laughs> Blame tumbling satellite. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, there we go. There we go. And then the other way around. And then I'm out of these inserts. What do we need for that? More iron plates. Uh, that'll be fine. We can just feed these up real quick by hand. There we go. This goes up. This goes in. And there we go. What is cool, though? Um, white list. Oh, uh, wait, what? White list call in, though. I mean, we can't put... They will only put in things that burn over here. I guess that's fine if we do it like this. Good, 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 good. And then let's also set up this over here a little bit. Um, we also need to get those ashes out over here at some point in time. Um, and everything can burn if you try it hard enough. Absolutely. Good. And yeah, this will be for the smelters. There we go. We really don't care too much. There we go. Um, probably needs to be one lower. And Paul describes this German sausage just, oh god. <laughs> Probably started another culture war with that one. Shit. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, and then it doesn't really matter where these go. 
Let me just pick up two of these real quick. There we go. There we go. And then you there. You there. Good, 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 good. But guys, if you don't know who Tumbling Satellite is yet, go check him out. He's bloody amazing. He is from France. And he plays a whole bunch of Factorio. Probably one of the best games ever made. Uh, and if you are of a different opinion, then that's perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do leave him a follow. Check him out for yourself. He's bloody amazing. Uh, and Tumbling Satellite, we kind of started Pyanodons again. Because... I'm actually not quite sure why we did that. Uh, we just started a new game of Pyanodons. After we already started the game of Nolius, after we already played playing a game of um, Factorio on, on the on the good old YouTube channel with K2SE. Um, I think I might be going crazy, but so be it. You just like the server, it's fine. Ah, absolutely. Good, we need some more inserts as well. And I'm using the Pi AE. Mod Elf, of course we're using Pi AE. That's the whole reason why we started the new playthrough. I mean, we already uh, finished up a playthrough of Pi with um, Alien Life. And that took... A, a bit. <laughs> maybe... Maybe 60 days. Full game time, maybe more. Um, <laughs> a year. It took a year. No, it was two. <laughs> Wait, these are going the wrong way around. There we go. Um, it was pretty much two. We started the pie playthrough in, I think, April 2020. And we finished the pie playthrough in... Was that this year? <laughs> I have no clue. I forgot everything about it. I, I just... February, March this year. Yes. Yeah, pretty much after we got partner, I think. It was like, yeah... <laughs> if you want to become a Twitch partner, you only have to win at Pi. There we go. It's so easy. <laughs> Good. Okay. Ores over here are being made. Uh, we're turning it to the plates. There we go. Hi, Bolt. Have you lost your mind? Are you a masochist? A second Pi run? Um, no. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Then, um, yeah, we need more of this. This goes all the way over there. This is not the best way to place these ones down, but so be it. I mean, I have to do something during the day. Might as well play pie. Let's see. Um, yeah, this will be fine. This will then be the input over here for these guys. There we go. And then we can do more plate automation over there. Perfect. Yeah, the smelter, not really going super duper fast yet. Uh, it will be going sooner or later. And then we can always fill up these over here again. Uh, what we do have is... We can make walls now. Do you have another one of these around? No. Um, yeah. Stop doing this. Make walls. Have, have Addy. <laughs> we gotta need walls! <laughs> is this... Is it Pi AE? Is that out? Yes, it came out, I think, last Friday or last Saturday. So, Pi AE is out for everybody to enjoy. Um, there we go. Yeah, we didn't really leave enough space over here. And that's also not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Um, that's... Wait, no. What the fuck? <laughs> one moment, please. <laughs> I did not pay enough attention over here. Do we need this one? No, we don't need this one. It, it, it's so much easier if we just do it like this, this, and then this, this, and this. There we go. Now it's correct. There we go. Uh, there will be more of you. Jamata! Wait, not correct. Jamatia! There we go. That sounds more correct. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then make two more of these. And then make sure that we can pile up all of these iron plates. There we go. And your days are 50, uh, 59 hours. Where the hell do you live? Uh, somewhere. I mean, uh, I still have this grand plan of just, like, uh, melting all the polar ice around the world. Uh, and then with that extra water, that extra water will um, accumulate at the equator because of how the Earth spins. And because we got more water on the equator. Uh, not on the equator. Yes, on the equator. On the equator. Uh, that would also mean that the radius of the Earth is going wider. And because the radius of the Earth is going wider, that will mean the Earth will spin slower, and that will mean the days are longer. Um, 
So melting polar ice caps definitely helps out in making longer days. There we go. Do the inserters work for free? Yes, they do. <laughs> Very happy about that. I mean, if these would be burner inserters, you know what it would mean? Uh, if this would be a burner inserter, that would mean uh, it would burn uh, its fuel over here into ash. That would mean you would need to have a burner inserter to empty out your burner inserter, but then you would still need the burner inserter to empty out that other burner inserter. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> There's definitely a bit of a conflict of interest in that one. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then we need some more plates. There we go. Make some more chests. Cute. Uh, and then what about all of this? This needs to be pulled up a little bit more. Uh, we need to copy this over wherever we can. Yeah, the field will have stripes, but I don't really care about the field of stripes. And then put in everything else. And then this goes up. Um, We might want to do something like this and connect this up one higher. Yeah, this one needs to be one higher. Good. Would be hilarious having to, uh, to wind them up. Oh. <laughs> Not like, like one of those, those spring locks where you just have to go in there and you have to actually manually start pulling them. Oh god, that would be horrible. We got seven sap. Nice. Lovely. Uh, what do we need? We we need, we need, we need, we need all of these in there. There we go. Mm, can we actually do this? Well, we can do it like this, but we still have to turn these around then. So not quite sure if that is faster or not, but so be it. Make some belt over here, please. Um, and we got two more chests over there because these inserts over here will not be fast enough. There we go. Pick it up, pick it up. There we go. Make some more inserters. There we go. Good. My pocket of four? Yeah, we could just drop that in here. There we go. That's gone. Is this a new series? Is that all on YouTube, right? No. Uh, this series will get its feet on YouTube as well. Um, after every Twitch stream, there will be something like a recap episode. Uh, on YouTube um, about Pi, and we're going to be just talking about um, what we did on the stream, and it's going to wrap it in like maybe something like don't think I will, oh, I can definitely talk for like half an hour about what we did on the stream, but I think it will just be a little bit shorter. We just have a look at the builds that we made and stuff like that, and then we get recap episodes on, 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 on YouTube. And every stream, yeah, I think every stream might be fine because we do do quite a bit on stream every now and then. Yeah, like 10 to 50 minutes recaps. Yeah, something like that. I don't think it should be longer than 20 minutes. I mean, yeah. Let, let's let's go sub 20. Maybe even sub 10. Uh, first one will be really short. We lost to box and one. Yeah, I'm just going to skip that one. <laughs> Already skipped that one because I was kind of like, yeah, no. Um, what are we missing over here? I'm My brain is again all around. There we go. And you go there. We're going to pick up this, you go this, you go that. Uh, we do need one on the ground. Aim for sub 10 and you end up at 20. Maybe. We will see. I mean, since this will be then also one of those episodes where I don't actually build anything, I don't lose track of time and I don't accidentally uh, end up. Wait a minute. That is wrong. Well, I guess this will be fine. But we need something like this over here. We need some more belt. We need some more plates. And could you build a chest and inserter for the ash at the end of the gosh core belt? Yeah, we're going to do that. I mean, ash stacks up to a thousand, so there's not a quick need for that yet, but we do need to do that. Just keep building, just keep building, one step at a time, it'll be fine. Good, and then... And... Rotate, rotate, rotate... No, wait a minute, it's the other way around. Uh, that's correct. Um, oh, there's two inserts missing over there. There we go, there we go, there we go. And then we got the core line over there, and then we got this thing over there, that thing over there, and then we need two more inserters. God dang it. More plate, please. 
Man, this feels like such a slow start. If you remember like the old Pi base, we had this massive base that was making like millions and millions of items per second. And this base over here just sits there and goes like, oh, I've got an inserter. Yay! <laughs> Good. We don't even have splitters. Like, oof. Okay, that is like one column of smelting set up. Um, what do we need for steel processing? Steel is just cooking up way more iron plates. Oof. <laughs> that just hurts. <laughs> it's, we need like 80 iron plates to make one steel chest. Uh, when do we get to our first level of iron processing? I, I kind of want to get rid of it right away. Um... That's glass technologies. Oh god, glass technologies. Is is is, is liquid fuel still a thing? Liquid fuel still a thing. Ah, oh, shite. <laughs> do you do community gameplay sessions? Not really that often. I kind of like suffering alone. It's 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 it, yeah. That's just how I like to suffer in these games. Um, community maps are always kind of fun, but I kind of feel like I'm missing out on most of the stuff. Like, like you want to build something and then you start building it and somebody else has already built it and you just sit there and you're like, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hash separation. We're going to need that. Um, okay, where is, where is iron making? That's all over there. So this is where we get... Um, but we get processed iron before that. When do we get processed iron from then? Mm, vacuum tube electro. Oh god, that is deep. <laughs> uh, where do we get processed iron from? That's iron from iron oxides. That's tar processing, creosote. Uh, that's not helping. Um, so maybe this one? Ah, there we go. This is the technology we want. This gives us um, way better resources. With this, we can process our iron ore. Um, we can use five iron ore to make three processed iron. And then we can, yeah, that basically cuts down our iron ore consumption from eight to five, which is, well, a significant update. <laughs> Particle life, yes, crushes. We figured it out. Good, 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 good. Where do we get splitters and underneathies? We do have underneathies. Undergrounds we already have, but we don't get splitters. Uh, splitters are later at some point. Okay, uh, science. Mm, iron plates, there we go. You first need to automate circuits, really? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? So be it, so be it. Mm. There we go. And then at least this can get rid of the ashes. <laughs> Back to part. Let's go! Yes! And we also have all those other series we're playing. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, we need to pick, pick this up real quick. There we go. You get this, you get that. Just get rid of this real quick. There we go. Cute. How's Bytus today better? We, we kind of tweaked a little bit on the Bytus. Bytus is still on the map, but we're also playing on a map where we're not playing on the desert, which also means that pollution over here is not flying around everywhere, uh, which is pretty darn good, uh, because last time around we were playing on the desert map, and, well, that ate us. Ah. Good. Um, let's increase iron production then. So let's just copy over this, if we can. Something, something, something like this. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Let's clean this up a little bit. Um, now I see what happened over there. Okay. Um, there we go. And then... Yeah. this One of these models over here will be a little bit slow, but that will be fine. That will be fine. That will be fine. Good. Uh, let's pick up some iron plate over here. We can use our ma uh, magnificent crafting machines over here. 
just to make the stuff that we need. And we definitely want to make some small parts. Uh, this thing over here should also always be making chests. Speaking of chests, get some of these. And of chests, walls, I mean. Get some of these and make sure that this one over here is always, always, always making stuff, please. Uh, we do need... Yeah, that's, 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 that's gonna take a while. <laughs> uh, let's maybe split this off into two. Then it will be twice as fast. There we go. Cute. And with this, at least we have some walls. And with that, we can at least protect these turrets a little bit. Um, because biters, the biters do exist out there. And we do have to be careful about them. Ugh, pick up walls takes forever. I placed another stupid wall. Oh, I just can't stop placing stupid wall. There we go. Good. <laughs> we have a forest used lots of fence. Ah, walls are definitely better. Walls are definitely, definitely better. Good. Uh, every now and then we can pick up some stuff from over here. Um, but I do kind of have the feeling that they over here have a bit of an issue putting stuff out. So let's do something like this. Let's make another chest. Another inserter. There we go. Yeah, keep filling this up with, with stuff, please. The other ones over here, we hand feed every now and then. There we go. Same for you. Um, this thing over here, we can continue making gun turrets over here. We should probably always be making some kind of gun turrets somewhere. Uh, you're also putting out the ash. Nice. Um, good, 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 good. Okay, how is iron plate production? Oh, we were up to... Well, we definitely increased by a lot. We're now up to 118 per minute. That's like two per second. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> at what point do you start making a train-based base? Well, at the point where I have access to trains. Um, so, I guess... Ask me again at Halloween? No, Halloween is too soon. Ask me again after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Then again, it actually only requires Pi Science Pack 1. Um, so we should be able to get here kind of soon. But we do need to set up at least some of the basic automation. What do we actually need for Pi Science Pack 1? What is that? Mm. Here we go. I mean, automating automation science packs, um, that's not too hard to do. What do we need for these? Glassware and basic substrate. Oh, it's this one again. And basic substrate is moss, incubated petrification, cellar loose. Okay, we know that one. Is the cat still in there? Yep, there it is. Uh, gonna take forever to get there, but the cat bus lives. Around Christmas. Yeah, probably around Christmas. That could be fine. Good. Pick up this. You're waiting on more planter boxes. Planter boxes are missing. Iron plates. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Uh, start making these. Start making those. Actually, do we need those? Yeah, we probably need those. Then we also need to make more belts and everything. We yeah, have this, have that. We're still pocket crafting quite a lot, but at least with this, we we have something more of an automation going on in parallel. Especially the science packs. So science packs over here, they, they take quite a bit to, to, to put them together. Here we go. Mr. Bearded Jester. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. And is the core automated to your power plant? Uh, not really. <laughs> the power plant actually doesn't really eat as much power as you might think. Um, yeah, it's currently only eating 30 kilowatts. And the reason for that is, yeah, nothing is working over here. Nothing that is required that's working is working. And last Pi Base took you 50 hours to get the trains. That though included, uh, I think, a few hours of only running around. Yeah, there will probably also be the occasional running around part in here as well. Good. Um, we could technically make a belt over here. Or maybe even make this over there. But I guess for now, every now and then, just, just pushing that stuff in over there, I think we'll be fine. 
Good, 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 good. Um, and real life ash can be used in concrete. Um, probably. I mean, we do have recipe book in here as well. Um, there we go. Ash adds. Recipe book is definitely better. Um, there we go. It's definitely better for looking up recipes. Mm. Product of ingredient in. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> for some recipes in Pyanodons, a recipe book is definitely better. And for some, FNDI is a little bit faster. I mean, this is a very rich interface. And you can get a whole bunch of information out of this. But for just quickly looking up what we need, for example, in the production chain, what's before and after it, that's, of course, a little bit oof. Uh, but we can use it for asphalt tiles, for coal tiles, for limestone tiles. We need it for the bodos. We need it for ash separation over here. This one is actually pretty good, ash separation. Um, here we can get coal dust, iron oxide, and zoot. And zoot we can turn into gold. Can we actually already do that? Um... No. <laughs> and could the chest that's uh, filling up the coal belts? Uh, wait, what? Bunny iron mines, could the chest take care of the ash that's filling up in the coal belt? Uh, oh, up here you mean? Yes. Yeah, we have not even done that yet, but, well, okay, we're now 20% full. Um, yes, absolutely, Mac, we should do that. But for that, I need some stuff real quick. Um... I kind of forgot about that. Uh, so make some chests. One, two, three, four. And then... I'm just going to place two over here, two over there. It's basically going to be this one again. There we go. And just put it into the chest for now. I mean, every now and then we have to go over here and pick up what's in there. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Good, 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 good. So, uh, we want to have copper automated over here as well. So, let's maybe start thinking about making, well, first of all, a whole bunch of belts. For that, we do need a whole bunch of small parts. There we go. Um, let's maybe move you around as well. Let's place you over there. You should make this and that. There we go. And then, you just put some small parts every now and then in the chest over here. There we go. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. There we go. Also, let me press this one real quick. Nice. <laughs> okay. Lovely. Um. Yes. Okay. Couple ores next. Um. We got some miners. We're basically going to make the same thing over the air. The only thing we're going to need is a whole bunch of belts and a whole bunch of inserters. Mm, with the small parts automated over there, or semi-automated, we might just want to make a little bit more of a small parts automation. Mm, because this does make some, but we do need... We just need more. We just need more. How many parts is that? Five. Five assembly machines make small parts. So let's maybe just place them over here. Like one, two, three, four... Uh, five. There we go. You make small parts. Small parts is definitely a thing you're going to need in pretty much everything in Pyanodons. Like, like everything lives on small parts. So, we're definitely going to be... Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> everything is going to be affected by small parts. So, having a bit of a big small parts assembly machine is definitely a good idea. At some point in time, of course, it will be a good idea to, to fully automate this. Wally! But then again, um, every good idea is also sometimes a bad idea. <laughs> Wally, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. Jacob Freeman! How are you doing? More stable games today? Much stabler. Much. Look at this, Wally. Our defenses are a hundred times better. Because we got stone walls and don't need to make wooden fences. Uh, we should probably pocket craft some ammo while we're at it. For that, we need some more iron plate and coal and stuff like that. Uh, we can't automate production of ammo in a machine yet. This recipe over here can only be done in your pocket. 
So we should probably always, always, always make at least a decent amount of ammo in our pocket at any given time. Uh, and one of your VM warehosts decided to take over your previous map. Oh, yes, it was full of bugs. <laughs> it was full of bugs. There we go. Make all of this. Uh, we actually don't need that much stone on us. Yeah, have the stone. Also, all of the carrageen. There we go. Make more, please. Good. I do have a turret over here. Uh, this place over here might get detected at some point in time. There we go. Um... That is way too big. <laughs> that is way too big. <laughs> um, there we go. There we go. Okay, it's it still has some issues, um, but we can pick up some more wall and here have some ammo. Good, 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 good. I thought it was one of the better since you have some. That's true. That's true. Good. Uh, we do have walls over there. There we go. 148 walls. 38 small parts over here. No signs over there. Probably because you are out of bricks. Yeah, and bricks we have over here. Have those. Start working on those, please. And then some more small parts over here. There we go. 124 small parts in our pocket. Lovely. You get this. And then, did I not pick it up? No, there was nothing to pick up. Never mind. Uh, good. And then let's pick up some iron plate, and then we can speed this up. The thing I do kind of want to have soon, I hope, is lamps. Because it's kind of dark in here. Um, and darkness always is a little bit annoying, because then you guys can't see. And let's not do that in our pockets. Let's find a machine where we can make this. For example, you. This machine, I don't think we need. We started this up at some point in time. I don't think we need this one. Uh, you over there make belt, please. There we go. And you over there make assemblers, please. There we go. Not assemblers. Uh, inserters. There we go. And you over there. We could start ordering up some pipe. Mm, what's the other thing we need all the time? Uh, sadly, no ammo in here. Uh, gun turrets, guns, <laughs> walls. <laughs> Lamps needs glass, right? Yeah. And glass production in this game requires liquid fuel. And liquid fuel is a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, but we'll figure it out. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Just putting stuff in the chest. Yes, not very fast. But look how much, how fast we make belt now. A paint in the glass? <laughs> exactly. Good. Uh, let's make sure that we close off this wall over there. Wait, no automated ammo yet, Spectre. Uh, for automated ammo, we need lead. And lead processing. Uh, tar processing. Glass processing. Creosote. Acetylene. It should be around here somewhere because... Solder 1. Lead. Yeah, lead ore. That's over here. Then we also get the military one. And then we can get to the recipe where we can actually make magazines automated. And that requires lead. Uh, uh, wait a minute. That's oil sand. That's titanium. That's coal. That's titanium. That's coal. That's oil. Uh, borax, copper, chromium, oil, iron ore. Oil, <laughs> nickel, uh, iron, copper, tin, antimony, antimony, zinc, quartz, niobium. Never mind. <laughs> I have to pocket craft ammo for the rest of the day. Ah! <laughs> Maybe we should always be pocket crafting ammo from now on. <laughs> like, whenever we can pocket craft something. Um, we just pocket craft ammo. Um, good. Okay, we got belts, we got some miners, good. Um, we got some inserters, excellent. Let's tear this up over here. Didn't you suffer enough in the last one? Nope. I need a reminder. There we go. What changed? Um, uh, well, last time around, we didn't have any antimony. We didn't have any rare earth ore fields. These are new. Um... What else is around over here? Uh, the aluminum fields seem to be extra, extra large. Um, even King Arthur was a bit surprised when he saw them yesterday on stream. And he was like, what? They are that big? <laughs> um, yeah, pie changed quite a bit. 
uh, with the Pi Alternative Energy um, in, introduced. And look at this. They even cleaned up the research tree. The research tree now makes more sense. It's no longer the case that you can't research something which you can't build yet, which is really, really good. There are still some, some gaps in the research tree every now and then. We already noticed that there was one research that was just empty, and I think we will probably find a couple more the deeper down we go. Um... Yeah, this one is either empty or this one over here is an upgrade. I've not seen if the turret system is still in place or back. Uh, the turret system was kind of fun, but it also was a bit buggy. <laughs> I don't really see the turret system yet. Um, ooh, bigger nuclear power plants. They completely redid power generation. There is now a whole tab. Here it is. Pi alternative energy. There's like... Well, it's not as big as the uh, Alien Life one. The Alien Life one is still like... Here, have this. Did they clean this up at least? Um, maybe. I'm not quite sure if they did or did not clean this up. Was it always this or did it... Well, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's not as big as Pi Alien Life. Uh, but they did add a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. For example, Sorted Animal Eyes. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is this over here? Uh, why do you need to sort, to sort animal eyes? What the fuck? Um, High-tech aerial turbine. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we're probably going to have to figure out a whole bunch of stuff over here. Okay, what, what, what's up with the eyes? Okay, that's something we get out of Ox, Dilmos, Mookmookses, Skrondrixes, and Oryx. Of course, Dilmos have four eyes, so we get more out of them. And then animal reflectors or ash. When do we get this? Production science. Pi science factory. Yeah. <laughs> At some point in time, we get something. Um, let's put it like that. At some point in time, we get something. Um, put it in there, please. Um... I guess we need some more dirt. So pick up some more dirt. My arms are too short. There we go. Pick up some more dirt. And then more circuit handcraft. This is not painful from the very start. Yeah, it used to be that there was like uh, that handcraft machine you could get. Um, but that's also gone. There we go. What's the wind condition for Pi? Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, there is one technology all the way at the end. It's called the Pyrrhic Victory. Research this technology to win the game. And did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? Two years of my life. <laughs> and it started over. If you mean the run from yesterday, yes, we did start over the run from yesterday. And if you mean uh, our one run of Pyanodons like ages ago, yes, we also did restart that one because there was a Pi update. Good, 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 good. So, um, copper belts, copper belts, um, uh, it's already getting a little bit clustered in here. Yeah, let's have two copper belts over there. Mm. There we go, there we go. Don't build this close because we still need to get the ash out of there. Yeah, it will be better. Pull this down. And then we can start. Oof, how do we do this one over here? Hmm. I guess do it like this. That's actually quite a bit of copper if you think about that. We are probably going to be completely backing up on this. But I guess that will be fine. Uh, we do need to make it underground. Uh, what do we need for that? Iron plate. Of course we do. At least iron plate production over here is now running non-stop. Uh, and we don't need to worry about it too much, so we can always come over here and pick up some iron plate. And, oh, look at all the iron plate we picked up. So make some undergrounds, please. Uh, never mind, we're still crafting ammo. <laughs> there we go. Do this. Give me that. Get this. Give me that. You get these. And that. And then this, that. This, that. There we go. That should be fine. That will be fine. Saving this for posterity. <laughs> Good, 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 good. 
Uh, we should also do something about all this ash over here soon. Uh, it's kind of piling up. Okay, we got some more walls in there. I do kind of want to keep the walls in my pocket if possible. Uh, here we go. Pick up this. Pick up that. Pick up this. Pick up those. Pick up this. Give that. There we go. Good. And then we need an underground. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Then we do need to fill this thing up with coal and ash. Mm. Let's figure out this thing over there. Copy you. Over here and over there. What? I think one of these is the wrong way around over there. <laughs> Which one did we copy? Um. No. <laughs> um. Wait a minute. Oh no! I see what we did. We also copied over the uh, two over there. These two. These two are wrong. Do you need us for that? Uh, maybe. Accidents was to go. Wait, where? <laughs> Excuse me, where? <laughs> did that do it again? Oh, you mean this one over here? Yeah, that's 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 that, that's not as obvious as as the other ones we accidentally did. All right, keep in mind, don't don't make these factorial builds too German. It it can happen quite fast. Like, you didn't pay attention and suddenly, oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's do this. And then turn this one around. This one, this one. Actually, can we just do it like this? There we go. Good, 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 good. And that will make us the copper ore that we need. And we're just going to pull that thing all the way over there. And we're going to feed it in over there. Good. Hmm. Yeah, pick these up real quick. Ash from the mines? Yeah, we still need to do that as well. There we go. There we go. Hmm. That could work. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of side loading going on. But that will be fine. Good. Put that all together. Oh, we have not even done anything in here. What the hell? And trap the man. Wait, trap the snake. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> That's what I get when I read like the full sentence and don't think about it. We get trap the man. <laughs> trap the man. How are you doing? <laughs> Snake. Oh no, please, please, please don't don't do the man snake. Uh that will definitely get me banned. Trap, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Guys, you got trapped the snake over here. The man snake. <laughs> the human anaconda. Um yeah, my attention span is still like I already said, like like work is currently pretty crazy. And it's kind of already affecting me a little bit. And I'm already like today at work, I was super tired all day. Like, I couldn't even concentrate. And tomorrow and the day after, I have to be on site in the garage, which is going to be even more annoying. Yeah, that's also... Yeah, sorry, I need to I need to vent my head a little bit. There we go. Um, But yeah, uh, first of all, Trap the Snake. Guys, if you don't know who Trap the Snake is, get your bumps over there. Leave him a follow. He's play, he's bloody amazing. He's from Canada. Uh, probably the, the, the second best country in the world. Uh, the best one, of course, is um, Belgium. <laughs> and all the Belgians in the chat. <gasps> and everybody else, what? <laughs> good, 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 good. Ah, oh, <laughs> to punish me. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. All right, man. This is to punish me! <laughs> uh, no, but Trap the Snake is bloody amazing. Get, uh, get your bones over there, leave him a follow, and thank you so much for the shout out. Are you playing some Barrow Trauma? That's such a fun game. I would love to play that as well, but but my schedule is just way too full. But yeah, work. Um, yeah, nobody likes to work, <laughs> more or less. Uh, but yeah, since our project is more or less going to be finishing up, like, it technically should have been finished up and wrapped up, like, what was that? A month ago? Two months ago? 
Uh, it's been on fire for like two months straight. <laughs> two months straight, it was like on fire. It's still on fire. And I now have to be in the garage for like the next two days. Uh, and everybody hopes I fix everything. And then you sit there and go like, yeah, the, sure, I'll fix everything. Uh, let me just get myself a dumpster and set it on fire. There we go. That fixes everything. I think I can smoke on the top of the... <laughs> Is he smoke on the top of the head of Bolt? He's thinking too much? Yep, definitely. You guys are just going to keep optimizing... Oh, wait. Uh, just optimize to keep the office warm enough to the winter. Just start early. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, like, I've already talked about the project a couple of times. I can't go too much into details, but yeah, the, the biggest problem of the project is it's just too big of a project. <laughs> and there are already, like, intentions in there trying to cut it down to make it simpler and stuff like that, but, but it's still too big. <laughs> it's still way too big. Um... Here we go. At some point in time, we're going to hook up this wall over here again. Actually, you know what we could do? Yeah. That will be enough. We don't need that much power down there. As much of the project, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you would have think that, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the client, the big client that's behind everything, you would kind of think that, that they would just spend some more money on it, but they, they seem to be spending the money like on... on, on wrong parts in my opinion but yes it's one of those does this really have to be uh to come with every uh what well, wait every well, does this really have to come with every and the drinks holder project yeah i mean the, the the most annoying part at the moment is is that we still get like random requirements being made like at this stage of the project i mean the the, the current generation generation two we call it should more or less be done since august we should actually already be working on generation three but, nope. <laughs> we still get requirements for Generation 2. Good. We can do steel. What is this? Steel axe. Mm, right. Is that one? Uh, is that one of Pi or is that one of, of the, the, the actual base game one? Uh, doesn't matter. Ash separation. That is definitely something we want to do. Because ash is piling up everywhere and we do need this ash to be done with. Good. We also need some more undergrounds. Did we make a boatload of undergrounds over here? Nope. Put that in there. Pick this up. Put that in there. Did you just say Sevi 1 or Sevi? No. What's the Sevi project? <laughs> here we go. Uh, put that in there. And give me those. Good. We need 20 undergrounds. That's 12. That's more. Make more of these. There we go. Oh, step one meets critical in our systems. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, let's let's not talk about all that 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 um um. What's it called again? Uh, functional safety aspect of the project. <laughs> I'm still not quite sure who is responsible for the functional safety, and I'm very very sure that they're all doing it not correct. Um. I mean, the last time, or in every project where I... Actually, kind of funny. Um, every project I worked on that had the topic of functional safety in it. And if you want to know what functional safety is, it basically means you have to um, be of a specific standard to, to call your, uh, your, your program safe. And you've got a whole bunch of standards out there. Uh, and every project I worked on uh, up till now, uh, when they came up to the safety aspect of it, um, they, it usually ended up like this. It was like, okay, we need to make the project safe. And then discussion started, discussion started, and at some point in time they went like, actually, now that we've talked about it, the whole project we're doing has not to meet any kind of safety standards, and then everything got canned. <laughs> and then we just made a random software stack that was living somewhere. Um, Wonder what Tesla uses? Well, Tesla has to use uh, some kind of standard, at least. Oh, wait a minute. This thing is not in yet. Well, that's fine. And usually when you do that, you usually have like an external company uh, that comes around and uh, watches over your safety procedures or how you make safe code because you can't, you, you can't really um, check that yourself. I mean, you can put in automated tools and stuff like that to do that for you. Absolutely no problem. But the procedure to check 
if you're working according to a safe standard or not, you can't check that yourself. You have to get somebody external that does that for you. And it's quite easy why you need to do that. Because if you do it yourself, then the following will happen. Like, you go to the process, you look at it, and you go like, oh, is everything going safe? And everybody in the room is going like, yes, absolutely. Something is on fire in the background, but everybody just goes like, yep, yep, yes, it is, absolutely. Everything is going fine. And then everybody's happy. But if you, you, you need that external regulator or that external uh, person to come in and to check on those processes because he will ask the questions. <laughs> or definition of done. Definition of done will also not really help there uh, because you can also just change that. <laughs> There's the fire in the room. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you need an auditing company, a QA. Yeah, something like that. And I've not seen that yet for the project I'm working at. Like, I don't think it exists. And that's actually a big no-go. <laughs> but then again, it could just be that I'm just missing it and I'm just not seeing it. Could also be that well, that case. So it might be fine. But, but every person I asked about it, everybody was like, uh, yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Put that in there, put that in there. Uh, I don't think we need more couple wire. And they've redefined a lot also what improvement means. Yep, yep. Are you sure it's Of course it's not. <laughs> then again, <laughs> and that's a good thing about things like German leathers or German products. If you buy a leather in Germany and it says it can hold up to 150 kilograms, you are definitely sure it can hold up to 300. <laughs> Remember, the market will take care of it. Yes. Uh, we're just going to do like an early access release and it will maybe just be like one or two bucks and then we just do a quick fi round of bug fixing and then we'll be fine. Cyberpunk. Have <laughs> <laughs> they tweaked minus a lot? What do you mean? It's me, all. Uh, good, we need this, we need that, we need this, and there we go. Tesla Autopilot. Yeah, that thing. Oof. Ah, the Tesla Autopilot. Like, when I was working in the previous company, like, my boss always, or my, my previous boss, always loved to read crashes about Tesla and analyze them. Because he would always go in there and look what they did wrong and to improve our own product. Also, we still need to fix up these over here. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. And some of the Tesla crashes were bloody amazing. Like, like that, that one Tesla crash, um, maybe just want to talk about the ones where nobody got hurt. Uh, because that should probably be proper. But there was this one Tesla crash. There was like, uh, it was driving on the highway at highway speed. And in front of it, there was like um, a big truck. It toppled over due to side winds. And it was like lying on its side. And it was facing the Tesla. And it had a completely clean white surface. And the Tesla didn't recognize anything in it and just drove right into it. <laughs> Because it was a clean white surface. And a clean white surface, if you ever done, done any computer vision, a clean white surface, you can't detect anything on that. You go like, yep, there's nothing in here. <laughs> <laughs> there is a solution to, to, to help with white surfaces. Um, but that, I think, still requires a whole bunch of regulation. And weren't like 9 out of 10 Tesla crashes caused by the human overriding auto autopilot? Probably. Um, and the fact that the road doesn't continue shouldn't matter. Yeah, but but they don't detect for all of that. <laughs> well, I guess they don't. Who knows what they actually do detect? Um, there we go. But that was just like an amazing crash. Like here, yeah, there's nothing on the road. Please continue. Drive full speed ahead. Crash. <laughs> Good. Let's just copy this. Paste that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Uh, am I out of these again? Oh. And the factory must grow? Yes, the factory must absolutely grow. It's, it's still kind of tiny because we're playing Pyanodons and everything just takes like forever to make, um, especially if we run out of stuff all the time. Uh, yeah, put some more stuff in there. Uh, we don't need anything of this. You're probably missing. What are you missing? What are you missing? Edge case, walk, walking person with a bicycle. Yeah, but that was also double stupid. I mean, for one, 
She was walking like in total darkness under a bridge, crossing a freeway or at least a, a drive, um, a motorway where you could drive fast. And under a bridge. I mean, oof. It was actually a quote from a certain German politician which figured out uh, Bolt was recognized to pick up on. Wait, what? Uh, oh, the market would take. Uh, a German one? I'm not really that good with German politics, to be perfectly honest. Was it, was it, was it Angela Merkel? <laughs> Bolt, do you watch any racing? No, I find it boring. I mean, monster trucks. Yes, absolutely. Formula One? Mm. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Moto GP? Mm. Do you find it boring since your test drivers are crazier? Oh, the test drivers are definitely crazier. Um, no, I'm not really that much into motorsports. I mean, or, mm. I'm actually not really that much into any kinds of sports, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Even speed running and stuff like that. I just usually go like, yeah, it's 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 nice that you guys are doing that. I don't care. <laughs> good, 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 good. And would you detect a large white surface with a radar of some sort? Yes. Um, there's an easy way to detect that. Radar is one. Uh, but radar, most radar systems in cars at the moment are usually only used for parking. Um, and not really for, for like far away detection. Um, they're working on stuff like that. They're definitely working on that, but that's not really that common yet. And Tesla is one of those companies that goes like, cameras, 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 if we can't do it with a camera, fuck you. That's basically Tesla. They want to do everything with cameras. They, they don't really want to use any kind of other sensor. Um, but there is a way how you could detect a, f a full white surface with a camera and a laser. That works. But then you have to introduce lasers into car traffic. And once you start introducing lasers, uh, every safety officer already goes around and goes like, <gasps> lasers, no, 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 no. A LIDAR. Yeah, LIDAR would also work. Um, but LIDARs are usually kind of expensive. There's a cheaper way to do that than a LIDAR. And now that they are deactivating cameras, really, I'm, I'm not really up to date with Tesla. Maybe somebody else knows. No, but you could use like an infrared laser that just throws a pattern out there and use an infrared ca camera wrap and then the white surface would have a pattern and then you would see it. There we go, there we go. Hey, removing sensors? I see. Unless the sun is shining. Yeah, um, that, 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 chip, yeah. There's a very special kind of laser, and I can't talk about that because that's on the patent that you can't use in sunlight. <laughs> but that's actually, I had to sign an NDA for that, but there is a way to do it. And if you think about it, you might come up with it. Good, 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 good. Good. Okay, we need some more copper. Um. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, sunlight is not an issue. If you, if you have like a laser sunlight issue, there's a way around that. Let's put it like that. But if you want to know it, you actually have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> then you actually have to hire me. Come in for one question. How do you solve it? I'll tell you it. And then you hit your head and go like, oh yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> Unless you can work with bright sunshine, depends on the light frequency. Maybe. Here we go. Here we go. It's usually a part of the NDA, not acknowledging that you ever signed the NDA. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um. I mean, figuring out that somebody signed an NDA is usually like a quite easy thing because you ask them a question and if they don't answer you, you go like, oh, did you sign an NDA? And then they cannot say no or yes. <laughs> Remember the story of your mechanic uncle told me? He was the lead mechanic of a Ford dealership and that sold vans. Uh, in the early days when the first cruise control came out, uh, it was sale termed as autopilot. 
And she came along, bought a fully kitted van, drove it off, oh, got mad and crashed because he got out of the seat in the back, uh, getting a stiff drink, and when it drove straight off the road in the curve. Yeah. Wasn't there also not like um, a Darwin Award for that? Where like a random guy was like, uh, he had like, like, what's it called again? Like those, those, those big vans, those big, big, uh, basically the Breaking Bad van here, the van for Breaking Bad. There we go. Uh, what, what are they named? Did they have this very special name? Very special American name. Um, a Winnebago. There we go. That was what I was looking for. A Winnebago. He had a Winnebago, and he went like into the back. Uh, <laughs> he put like I think the 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 the, the cruise control on, and he just went to the back. Not even not even the distance uh, uh, assist or the the um, uh, the the what's it called again? The adaptive. It doesn't matter. The distance assist. <laughs> Let's call it like that. And he just went through the back, got himself a brew, himself a coffee, and then, yeah. I'm a square! Hello there. How are you doing? <laughs> In two minutes, Bolt getting a call from his legal department. Nah. That was mostly from the previous company, and they don't care anymore. Not quite sure if they exist anymore. <laughs> I mean, I left for a reason. I mean, I left my previous company for one reason alone. Uh, at some point, I mean, uh, it was a startup company. And with every startup company, you just sit there. And at some point in time, you think about, okay, is this startup going somewhere? And I was kind of the, the opinion it was not going anywhere. So at some point in time, oh, we need to steal for this. What the fuck? At some point in time, I went to my boss and was like, hey, here. If you're not going to turn this company around or make this company into something good in like the next year, I'm going to leave. And he was like, sure. It'll be fine. Well, it was not fine. <laughs> and after a year, uh, the company still went nowhere. And I was like, you know what? I think it's time for me to leave. <laughs> and then I just left. There we go. Yeah, cook some steel, please. Adaptive cruise controls. Yeah, there we go. Adapt the distance of the lead vehicle. Yes, 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 yes. The love frequencies are absorbed by the upper layer of the atmosphere, and if uh, you use those, it works even in bright light. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 10 to 1 for seal start. Yeah. Do we ever get a better seal recipe? I think we do. Uh, but we got ash separation now. Oh. <laughs> Mr. 2904195, could you maybe just ping? Because those usually are bot names. <laughs> But thank you for the follow, nonetheless. <laughs> Good. Fluid pressurization. What do we need? Coal processing. Yes. Coal processing. We do need that. There we go. There we go. Could maybe also be... Let's see. If we put it to letters, what is that? A B? What's the nine? Uh, e, F, G, H, Y. Mm, and then a zero. Mm, well, we'll figure it out. Death Crystal isn't that good, even though you're moving a lot of traffic between lanes and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it kind of rem reminds me of, like, my buddy. Uh, like, at some point in time, my, my buddy, uh, my best friend, like, bought a new car. And he was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to buy, like, all the good stuff, like, fully kitted with everything. And since it will probably be, like, an expensive car. And he bought it fully kitted, like, with everything. Like, with cruise control, speed assist, lane assist, Everything. Everything. And we were driving on, on vacation. Uh, me and him were driving to a festival for vacation. And at some point in time, I was like looking around and was like, hey, dude, we're like in a construction site and you're driving like 130 kilometers per hour. He was like, oh, shit, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kind of realized, oh, yeah, you know what happened? Uh, there was this guy in front of us. He was going like the correct speed. Um, and I had my cruise control on and everything. And he kind of switched lanes back there. <laughs> So, nothing in front of me. <laughs> he just drove off. <laughs> good, 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 good. Here we go. Give me this, give me that. It depends on the power users. Most of the time, you don't need a lot of power for the laser. That's true. I mean, eye safety for lasers. Um, it depends on how much time you put the laser onto, like, um, a certain area. Uh, but then again... We've already learned, well, we did some laser tests, that not every laser is as accurate as they say they are. And it's still kind of, kind of, 
Oof. And if you get tickets in the construction zones when workers are there, then double the fine. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, it, it, I think it was like on a Sunday or something, there was like nobody in the construction site. Even, even the whole construction site itself was wide enough that you could just drive through there. Um, and are there like no speed cameras around construction sites? Not, not that one. Um, because it was already uphill and people already drive slow over there. But since he had a pretty, pretty uh, horsepower car, <laughs> he just completely raced up there. <laughs> nah, he then then went the accurate speed and everything was fine. But it was it was a little bit surprising. Like you just sit there, you drive, everything is automatic, and then suddenly you realize, oh, <laughs> we're going a little bit fast over here. Good, 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 good. Okay, is all of this in? This looks all in. Ah, this is not in yet. There we go. We're missing these. The eight construction sites next to the road are there for, for like four months whilst they were there maybe for the weekend. Yes. I wish America would finally transfer over to metric. You could always use metric in America. But people might look a little bit weird at you if you do use metric. Okay, we got 40 steel. How much do we need for one of these? For an ash separator. 50! What the hell? <laughs> uh... You may only drive 50 kilometers on this 100 kilometer road for months. Yeah, I had a similar thing once. Like, we were driving to North Germany to the Wacken Open Air. And we were just driving on the highway. And at some point in time, we saw, like, a sign. 100. Okay. We slow down. 80. Okay, we slow down more. 60. We look around. There's, like, nothing on the highway. The highway's completely clear. We go down to 60. And then suddenly, just, like, a couple meters after that, yeah, you can drive as fast as you want to get. And everybody just sits there and goes, like, what? <laughs> I guess they forgot some signs. Um. <laughs> ah. There we go. Good. Okay. Um, with this over here, we can make one of these. And then we can filter some ash. We do filter 10 ash per second. I don't think we can check. How much ash do we make at the moment? Oh, boy. Yeah, these are some pie numbers. <laughs> we're making about six ash per minute, uh, per second. Uh, we're making three. Let's assume it's 360 per minute. Uh, that is, yeah, six per second. So one of these over here will be good for a while. Both three hour mark. Yes. So basic. Yeah. Here, look at this. We catched up exactly to the point where we were last time. So we are good. We are good. Uh, the only thing we should also keep in mind is maybe keep making ammo in your pocket because we do need to make all the ammo that we can. And was that digital science above the highway? No, it was mechanical science, like old science. Pollution check? Sure. Looks fine. Looks fine. I mean, the other pollution check we can do is over here. Yeah, nothing is eating. No nest is eating anything. So, we good. We good. Okay, we don't need that much stone. We need a bit of stone. And trees are awesome. Yes, I mean... <laughs> uh, do we maybe see the lead already? Oil sand. Um, there's some more tin over there. Oil sand. Nope, no lead. No lead whatsoever. Good, 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 good. Um, then, science. What are we missing over here? Bricks. There we go. We should maybe just place a chest over here for bricks real quick. Mm. Ooh, I can make a steel chest. That's so freaking expensive. Don't do that. <laughs> Lead from ash. Can we do that? I mean, we can filter the ash, I think. Let's 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 have a look. Let's have a look. Um, Let's get this in real quick. There we go. Uh, with this, we can now make... Um, Oh, we need more copper for that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, one step at a time. Step number one, this thing. And yeah, make some more of these. Make some more of that. It seems that we need some more plate over here. And some more plate over there. There we go. Do this, do that, do this. Good. Give me those. Mm. Didn't I not make a chest? 
Now I want to make a chest and I now got rid of all of my iron plates. Um There we go. How much is that? Eight iron plates. Okay. Uh oh no 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 no. Let's <laughs> see where it is. Never mind. Found it. I found it. It's it's there. It's building. Good. And then we place you over there. You over there. And you get some bricks. There we go. Infinite bricks over here. Uh, you're waiting on small parts, and small parts be is waiting on copper, actually. Wait a minute, here, have this. There we go. Good, 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 good. And then, give me these, give me those. Where is it? There we go. We still need iron plates. Uh, we still need iron plates. What is that that we mostly need? Probably small parts. Um, any small parts available over here? Yes. Eh, not enough. <laughs> not enough. Uh, yeah, have these. Have those, actually. And while we're at it, we get these as well. 209 plates for the building? Yep. 209 iron plates, 175 copper plates, and 50 steel plates to make one. Solid separator mark one. Oof. There we go. Yeah, stop pocket crafting that. Start pocket crafting this. But we only need one, and all of the ashes can go into this one. Uh, and then we can do the recipe over here. The recipe over here is zoot separation. Ah, zoot separation. There we go. And for this, we get things like iron ore, copper ore, ash, aluminum, zinc, and lead. Not a lot of it. Oh, is that made in another one of those? Oh, we need another one of these. <laughs> we need another one. <laughs> because we're going to have this ash separator over here, and that turns it into coal dust, into iron oxide, into zoot. And then the zoot we can turn into iron ore, copper ore, ash, aluminum ore, zinc ore, and lead ore. Uh, but yeah, we need another one. <laughs> we need another one. <laughs> God, God. Um... Yep, and he's all empty. Well then, um, something is... Oh, we, yeah, we need some we need some fuel over here. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, start getting the fuel in, and then we can get some more copper in. There we go. The building is 1.5 megawatts, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you shitting me? It does. That will also mean our power plant over there is going to start running a little bit faster. But we do need to do something with all this ash. I mean, look how much ash I have in my pockets over here. It's it's like everywhere. Uh, yeah. Make some more of this. Give me that. Give me this. Give me that. Make some more of this. We definitely need more belt. Um, This will be fine for now. Good. Um, one steel chest can hold how much ash? 48,000, I think. I mean, ash stacks up to 1,000. One chest, steel chest is 48 in size. Uh, we got a couple of iron chests around. These will be fine for a while. Uh, but then we just need to bring all the ash together. We're probably going to do the ash processing right over here. Yeah, let me just make a little bit. Good God, my arms are weak. Come on, little man. <laughs> Shop faster! <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna build it over here. <laughs> we're gonna build it right over there. Um, good, 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 good. But we do need a second one of them. There we go. Or, of course, we could also just let the zoot pile up for a while and then make the second one. Uh, that's still not all the iron plate that we need. Um, and these over there are still cooking. Uh, but now we have one of them. There we go. We know these. And you over there, you do ash separation. There we go. Hmm. How do we do this one? Maybe something like this? I mean, he does need 10 ash per second. And the more I think about it... Wait, 10 ash per second.
Um, ah, yes. Um, I was kind of thinking of maybe doing like a round robin style thing, but without splitters, we can't really fill up the other side. Unless. I know how we're going to do it. Uh, make two of these. There we go. So with this, things will go on the outside. And for now, they will stay on the outside. However, if we do something like this. Um, we have a round robin system. We can fill it up from the outside. We can connect this up with any kind of chest. It will always go in on the outside. And at some point in time, it will move into the inside lane. And with that, we can uh, fill it up as well. Oh, don't forget the output. Yeah, the output. Uh, oops. Mm, does this fit? Oh, at least that fits. There's seven and a half items per second. Yeah, but we need 10. With this, we can go all the way up to 15. I mean, we just fill it out up from any kind of side. We can now put, a little, put another belt over here if we want to, or another belt over there. It doesn't really matter. It'll start the loop. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. And then we're going to have a second one over here. Um, and, of course, we're going to have a bit more of an output. We almost get... <laughs> we now get coal dust and iron oxide. That needs to go somewhere. Mm. So how about we filter you over here to coal dust. Where is that thing? There we go. And you over there, iron oxide. And yes, we need to flip it. I have not forgotten about that. Uh, Iron. Where's my Iron dust? Here we go. Whitelist and whitelist. Put the row of inserts at the bottom too. Now nah, we need a little bit more of output. There we go. And then... Doesn't coal dust be burned? We can't burn that. Um, coal dust is... Yeah, we can't burn it. We can use it for fuel. For now, let's put it in the chest. Because I think we might need it for something else as well soon. There we go. There we go. But I do kind of remember that we had a bit of a coal dust issue in the last base. Like, quite a lot of a coal dust issue. Uh, can we make the other ash separator now? We can. There we go. And let's just go through the field for now. You have this. <laughs> just have this. There we go. Uh, these things over there. Flip them around. There we go. Let's empty these out. We can do the same over here for this ash over there. Um, and then we do this one. We can do... Uh, hmm. I guess we do it like this. Turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. There we go. Uh, and then... Something, something, something like this. You can put them there. I don't care. <laughs> you are suit. We are suit. There we go. Good. And yeah, this, this works pretty much how I wanted it. <laughs> That's how we get our full belt. Then again, it's probably also because it's backed up over here. Uh, but at least now we can get rid of the ash. And deal with it. Uh, we also need the ash from over here. The ash from over there. There's probably still some more places of ash we need to pick up. Uh, one at a time. One at a time. Good. I mean, this is not a permanent system. It's just going to be there so that we have something to do with all the ash. Then. Um, here we go. Make some more over here. Make some more over there. Let's pick up some more iron and some more copper. So that we can make more stuff over there. And keep making stuff over there. Here we go, here we go. 
And we don't need that much copper, but we do need a bit. We might also want to put in maybe, well, it's going to be one chest that's just going to fill up this machine over here with more ash. It's not going to be the fastest of the chests, but sure, why not? Good, 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 good. And as for the ore chests, well, yeah, I guess we should at least filter them out or something like that. There we go. And then make more, make more, make more. Keep that rolling, please. What are you waiting on? Nothing. You're waiting on dirt. Yeah, the dirt machine. We might want to... <laughs> Currently, every now and then, we're picking up some dirt from over here. And we're dropping it in over there. Um, not the best machine, of course. And you are actually using quite a bit of dirt. But I guess for now it's fine. Same for the plant machine over here. We should actually probably pick up some of these again. And drop them in there. There we go. Drop your pocket ass in the system? Yes, that's why we have this chest over here. And this is going to be... It's probably going to be there for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, that gets rid of all of that ash. Here we go. And then... Zoot machine... How much do we make? We make 0 0.2 per second. Um, yeah, that insert over there will be fast enough for that. Good. And then give me one, two, three, four, five chests. Actually, it's six. Well, it's five. You over there, we're going to set you to Ash. There we go. White list. White list. Rotate. Punk it out. There we go. Uh, and then you over there, you're going to be one of the other ores. Where are they? Oh, good God. Where are all these ores? Where's my ores at? Mr. Bear, the chest to hydrate. No! <laughs> I should probably. Uh, I think, but what was in there? There was definitely lead in there. Um, lead, zinc, aluminum, iron, and copper. Uh, let's just set this up real quick. Uh, also, yep. <laughs> let's do aluminum next, I guess. Yeah, put the aluminum there. I think one chest over here will probably be fine. Then lead cup zinc. There we go. Iron and copper. Um, and copper. There we go. <laughs> Kanake! How are you doing, mate? Thank you so much for the lovely follow. There's so much ash, but this thing over here will be fine. Uh, this thing over here... Okay, we're currently having issues with the zoot. Really? Maybe it's just backed up in there. It should be fine. It should be fine. Yeah, I think it was just backed up. But yeah, this thing over here can process 10 ash per second. We're currently making it in the base um, 360 ash per minute. That's 6 per second. So one of these over here will be fine for a while. And then we just do all of this. Um, we don't have lead processing yet, but we can <laughs> turn this into ammo if we want to. Um... Yeah, that's working fine. That's working fine. 10 items per second. Um, each one of these inserters does 0 0.6 items per second. We got 14 of them. That is not fast enough. <laughs> that's definitely not fast enough. Um, we can make it a little bit faster. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> there are definitely better inserters, but... Oh, uh, better inserters when? Good question. Very good question. Uh, inserter. There we go. 
Uh, does this give us... This gives us the yellow inserter. There we go. We can already see it on the horizon. Soon. Then we get the yellow one, which is 1.2 items per second. Nice. Um, simple circuit boards. What the fuck do you really mean? What the fuck? <laughs> good, 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 good. Let's just check real quick. Ash. Mm, over the last minute. And yeah, we're still producing a little bit more than we're using, but I guess this is just because of how many inserts we have. Uh, there's still this over here every now and then. Uh, that this. Why? Maybe, maybe because it's... It feels a bit weird, <laughs> but I don't care. It should be stable. It should be stable. And you think this is the reason you will never do a pie run? Oh, have I told you about my friend, Mr. Tailings, yet? <laughs> uh, the, in the previous pie rundown, it was Tailings quite a lot. Is Tailings still in here? Yeah, there it is. <gasps> Somebody once told me that Bold is gonna lull at me for writing something funny. It wasn't this. Less than three your face. Less than three my face? What? My face is less on the tree on the scale of ten? What? The long off the insult. <laughs> less than three. Your mother is less than three. <laughs> the long off. Thank you so much for 29 freaking months. That is insane. You know that. There are <laughs> you are three times over now. <laughs> That is actually true. I'm a little bit over. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Less than three. Good, 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 good. Long off. How are you doing, my man? Break? Oh, yeah, I should probably have a quick bathroom break. Uh, no, no, you did not miss it. I just did not do it. Uh, before we do the break, let me just pick up a quick... Peek from over there. There we go. Some automation science. Let's throw it over here. Uh, let's also have a quick peek at the pollution map before we go, and the break will not be long, the break will only be like a minute or two. Just me, just going to the bathroom real quick, and grabbing myself something new to drink, because my bottle over there is also empty. And let's just drop some thing over here into the steel smelter. And some in there, some in here, some in there. So that this stuff over here can work while I'm quickly going away. Good. Uh, also, check the pollution map real quick. It should be fine. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Pocketcraft ammo before we go. Yes. There we go. I'll be right back. You guys can watch this amazing, magnificent, ginormous Pyanodot base. Uh, power check. Power should be fine. And if it's not fine, I don't care. <laughs> And I'll be right back. Just going to the bathroom real quick, grab myself some drink, and then we shall continue.
It's not cold. One moment, please. <laughs> Got the warm one instead of the cold one? Yep. <laughs> I mean, I only have one of those in my fridge at any given time. And I just always uh, heat swap them. But <laughs> yeah, I picked up the, the new one from the crate and was like, wait a minute. That's not the cold one. And regarding lamps, it's kind of cozy. Well, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. And I lost the TV remote for three hours. I traded in for a cold Coke in the fridge. <laughs> I remember back when I was in university. Um, I was living like in my own little apartment, um, like rented small apartment, like for, for students. And uh, I woke up and I was hungry, and I knew I had like some 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 schnitzels. <laughs> like if 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 you, if you ever went to the supermarket in Germany, you do know that like in the deep uh, deep um, uh, in in the ice cold section, you got this bag of schnitzels. It's like about a kilogram of schnitzels for like two euros or something like that. Perfect student food. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm going to eat those. And I opened up my, 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 my cooler, my freezer, and I looked at my freezer and I was like, hey, there's like a plate in there. And I was like, wait, why is there a plate in there? I, I thought for sure I still had the bag of schnitzels. And then I kind of looked up, opened up my cupboard, and instead of the plate over there, there was a bag of schnitzels. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> How did they end up doing this? <laughs> Keep stuff on the balcony for free cooling. Uh, since I live on the ground floor, no. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Uh, if I would not live on the ground floor, yes. But I live on the ground floor. If I put anything outside, it will be gone tomorrow. Um. <laughs> good. Soil washing. Do we need this? This gives us sand. Oh. God, sand. Also, it gives us muddy sludge. What do we do with the muddy sludge? Wait a minute. We can make muddy sludge. That's great. But what do we need muddy sludge for? Mm. Where is that? Is it over here? No. Geothermal. No. Free us again. Hmm. Oh, I just thought, like, is it just me or are there less liquids in here? And then I start scrolling. Nope. <laughs> uh, it could be anywhere in here. Uh, sludge. There we go. Muddy sludge. Um. Okay, we need that for things like all the biomass stuff. Uh, oh, we need that for the moss farm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, will that mean that the moss farm is going to make... Okay, we can turn it into the biomass at least at some point in time. An advanced separation. That is very advanced. Um, we can turn it into ash and water. Uh, with filtration media. Is filtration media still crazy expensive? Uh, <laughs> we need it for rich clay. Uh, we can drain it. Ah, we can drain it. There we go. But as you use uh, the typing search in FNEI, uh, I kind of want to get used to where things are. Uh, I can always type it in and I'll end up using the time search. But I kind of want to get a little bit of a um, knowledge where things are in here. Just to see how things are grouped. For example, the muddy sludge, we didn't even see it in here. Where is it now over here? That's creosote again. <laughs> I always end up finding the creosote. It's it's like it's just a thing I do. It's it's I like looking for things by hand. There it is, money sludge. Um, but of course, if I can't find it, I'll just control F it. <laughs> I'll just F it. Good, 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 good. Let me just move this one over there. There we go. Good. Um, uh, <laughs> like the left of the F there is just an eyeball. Yep. <laughs> good. Hey, look at these. These shots over here emptying out. These are almost empty. 
This machine is running like a charm. It kind of looks, sounds a bit like a steam locomotive, which is really, really nice. Um, we're making very small amounts of ore. I'm just going to ignore these amounts of ore over here for now. And what is our next objective? Well, I guess our next objective would be to automate uh, science, at least. Um, that is not too hard to do. And maybe think about a little bit of a burner automation mall style of thing. If we do want to automate more, I think we do should increase production over here. So let's make some more miners real quick. For more miners, we need more small parts. Iron furnaces and plates. There we go. Give me all these small parts, please. How many was that? 300 small parts. Sure. And stop making ammo in your pockets. There we go. We got 195 ammo. Nice. Very, very nice. We're going to use that. There we go. Did we get the achievement yet? No. Perfect. Mm. And wait, did I miss something? Uh, wait, 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 wait. The long off. What's up there? Um, uh, you're not fine. A bug another time around. Not to run stuff for a stream, but other than stomach issue, you're fine. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, stomach issues. Most time when I have a stomach issue, it's usually like, oh yeah, lactose intolerant. <laughs> well, actually, not really that lactose intolerant, but like. Uh, I do notice it when I overdo it a little bit. Yep. That'll get me. That'll definitely get me. Explosive sheep! Uh, hello, how are you doing? A breaking bites and turret somewhere? Yeah, we kind of kind of restarted uh, the pie map that we started yesterday because the biters ate us. Um, but we are doing mighty fine now. Biters ate the last save. Sadly, they did. Um... But this one is going better. Also, the desert map ate us because, well, desert maps are oof, to say the least. Oof. Here we go. Oh, look at all these resources over there. Good. We got the miners in the pocket. Let's make some turrets. There we go. Turn all of this into turrets. I don't care. Have this. Have that. Have this. Have that. Have this. Um. Have this. Have that. There we go. This is the first map since yesterday. Well, we did start some maps yesterday, but this is the map we're definitely going to be playing on. Yesterday was more or less a warm-up round, which is actually perfectly fine. I mean, uh, we only lost three hours in total by restarting, and I would rather lose those three hours now than have to lose them like when we're like deeper in the game because the bar just would just overwhelm us. Uh, but yeah, we should definitely absolutely automate science so that we can keep researching over here. Uh, non-stop and just get through everything we need. And I guess we do the classic thing we do in Pi, just research everything we can on our level and see where we end up. So let's have a, let's have a look over here. So what do we need next? Uh, mining with fluid because we do need aluminum and then we can get to engines. Then we get to... Okay, that's still a little bit deep in. Then we can get to the car or no 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 sorry we should focus on this this is the important one so this that this that this that there we go get the gun <laughs> for fuck's sake get the gun <laughs> do you get through the burner phase with just the first signs no i think it's the second one as well i'm not quite sure when the burner phase stops when did we get assembly machines um yeah assembly machines we get after the second science pack um yeah. <laughs> it's going to be there for a while. Um, good. We can pick up this. We can pick up that. Pick up this. Pick up that. Electric miners. Yeah. Same thing. Electric miners are over. Uh, can I see them from the top of my dome? But electric miners are also in that region somewhere. Yeah, they're over here. They are pretty close after uh, Pi Science 1. I do hate mods use, uh, forcing us a burning age uh, when you have to read all the production of Remove Fuel. Yeah, I kind of get that. Good, we got some extra miners. We also need to get the ash out of our uh, coal miners over there. Mm, but let's start with these. Here we go, here we go. And then we're going to need this. We're going to need that. Oh, I don't have enough belt. Shit. Um, 
There we go. There we go. But I do like that we now have this little ash making machine over here, or this ash filtration machine over there. There we go. Make more of this, please. Give me that. Oh, my arms are the short. There we go. Give me this. There we go. And at least these machines over here are fast. It's also not that that making belt is something that takes forever. It's actually kind of nice in these. It could be worse. Let's put it like that. It could definitely be worse. There we go. And then we need the undergrounds over here. Uh, we actually need some more undergrounds. Uh, we could pocket craft some, but I don't really want to pocket craft. And Bob has a steam phase. Insert assembly machines. Yeah, all of them have a bit of a steam phase. I mean, Bob says it. Industrial Revolution had quite a bit of different phases back then. I never played Industrial Revolution 2, so I'm not quite sure up to date to that one. Um, did Space Exploration have a burner phase? If it did, it was very short. <laughs> I don't even remember it. Yes, it does. I do remember naming one episode Welcome to Burner City. Uh, but it was like maybe an hour at most. Um, and then after that, you, 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 sit, you sit there and you go like, yep, yeah, this is done. <laughs> we don't need to do this anymore. Industrial Revolution 2 at Steam. Oh, yes. Like you just sit there until you get like the first thing done and then you're like, good. And then you just leave. <laughs> good, good, good. Um... And then one, two, one, two. There we go. There we go. I guess we just go under over. And we're also slowly but surely getting more into the phase of just plonk stuff down. We don't care. Um, Let's see. We're going to have these over there. We're going to have this. Hmm. Let's put the underground over here. It makes more sense. There we go. And then you're connected correctly. Then next line. That will be you. There we go. Yeah, something like this will be fine. Um... Something like this. There we go. And then put fuel over there. And that will be fine as well. Could we run the wrong side? Yes. We also have not really set it up yet. But now it will not. <laughs> also, what the hell? Come on, accuracy. Here we go. Good. Um. Oh, the inserts are missing. Yeah. <laughs> we might need to add those inserters. Mm. Okay, uh, give some more of this. Have that. Give me this. Have that. Make inserters. Make belts. Um, make undergrounds. Make belts. There we go. Did you already make all of this? You did. Okay. Um, we need to add more stuff over here. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. But yeah, there's still a little bit of ash backed up over there, but that will be gone soon as well. Good. You know what we could do? Well, it's not a lot, but we can... Move this over there. There we go. <laughs> At least then we recycle it. And we don't have to bother with it anymore. Good. Um... Yeah, get these two. Get those two. What are you waiting on? This one over there. I see. Uh, did we not give you anything? It seems we just ran out. Okay. Um. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me more, please. Yeah, we're really not making that much iron plates. Well, I like the ore processing over here. Really, really not that efficient. It might be better if we go into... Where's crushing? Um, that's all the way over here. That is more or less on the way because we do need vacuum tube electronics. We do need alloy smelting and then we do need the crusher. The crusher itself does require simple circuits. Oh boy, how do we make simple circuits? I guess we can't make these in a pocket. No, we cannot. <laughs> Oof. 
Oof. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this one. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Um, yes. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm still... I remember circuits of the previous Pi playthrough, and I can already tell you, it's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be oof. The Mocobella. Build UPS friendly? No, we don't need that right now. And the Mocorella, have a good one. Until next time. Here we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm out of inserters. Yeah, make some bucket. Good, and then underground this one. And then we're just gonna bind these two over there and put them over there, and it will be fine. Yeah, put that in there. And 16 exoskeleton legs to the model Spiratron. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I once put, I think, that many legs in a Bob's tank Mark III. Uh, yeah, he was fast. It was a very fast tank. <laughs> I couldn't drive it around because the moment I accelerated, I basically drove into buildings. And Mr. Viking, now's a suitable time to say welcome back to Pi. Oh, yes, it is. How do legs work in the tank? Um... Give him boots? <laughs> I can paste the nuclear powers vanilla tray. Nice. Uh, what are we missing over here? Uh, well, for one, dirt and ash. Oh, we also need ash for there. Wood? Oh, we are actually out of wood for once. Um, Did we not chop some trees at some point in time? What happened to those? Oh, did we burn them by accident? I think we burned them at some point in time. Like Flintstones, obviously. Exactly! Ah, oh, the Flintstone tank. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Chop, chop, chop. Now, we do get some some, some tree farms soon, and those tree farms are going to be amazing. Those tree farms, in the previous part run, those tree farms, we made um, defensive installations with those tree farms. Because we used those tree farms to keep the pollution inside. <laughs> We basically had an infinite system that was just wasting resources. Like, it was burning itself uh, just to grow more trees, uh, just to eat pollution. <laughs> Good. That should be enough trees for a while. I mean, every log turns into five pieces of wood. There you go. Oof. What a loud machine. Okay, we got a whole bunch of steel as well. Um... Pick up some of this belt, pick up some more of these small parts. What are you waiting on? Uh, you are waiting on this machine and that machine because we forgot about that one. Good. And then let's set up this assembly machine over there. We do need more mechanical inserters for that. We need a whole bunch of mechanical inserters for that. Um, I think the small parts are in this machine. No, the iron plates are in this machine. How many small parts do we have? Not a lot, but this will be fine. Just keep this running for a while. Damn, we got a whole bunch of science down here. Perfect. Lobbed it in there. Let's check on the power. Yeah, power's fine. Power's perfectly fine. And how do legs work in the train? Easy. Like how Loki's child works. <laughs> not the other one, the other one, the other one, not the wolf. The eight-legged horse. More legs is faster. I mean, uh, the more robo legs you have inside of a train, the more legs you can put on, like, a little treadmill to make more power, to make the train go faster. Um, that's how it works. Absolutely. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's have a look. So, all of this is getting in there. We need more of these inserters. Uh, there we go. Oop. Oh, shit. Uh, did not want to press that one. There we go. Uh, 47 mechanical inserters should be fine. At least it should keep, keep us going over here for a while. Uh, we can, of course, also cook more copper if we need to. But for now, let's work on all of this over here and all of that over there. And then, of course, the middle parts. There we go. We do need a whole bunch of undergrounds to get the ash out. But the ash is not as important right now. Important is that we get this machine over here rolling. 
There we go. That's one too many. Uh, and then we need these four for there. There we go. And you. Good. Do we have any undergrounds on us? No, we do not. Uh, let's just empty out these real quick. We can drop the ash over there. And Mark Four train is 433 kilometers before the fuel bonus spent. Yeah, in in Pi over here we do get different trains. Um, it's called a locomotive. We get four different locomotives. We get like the initial locomotive over here, which I think is more or less the basic locomotive. Then after that, we get the advanced locomotive, which is, let's have a look at that real quick. Uh, faster, has more horsepower, also has a bigger equipment grid. Does this one also have an equipment grid? Has an equipment grid. This one over here does not have an equipment grid. Then, of course, the next of the trains are back, the high-tech floating locomotives. Oh, these are freaking expensive. Um... Even faster, even more powerful. And after that, we even get the superior floating locomotive. Looking forward to those. But they are going to be expensive as... <laughs> Stabber Express Mark 1 to 4. Uh... <laughs> Immediately bought. Like, didn't even think about it. Was just like, no, nope, I'm buying those. Mine. <laughs> no hesitation whatsoever. <laughs> we might need the taxi train again I mean we had the taxi train in the previous run through until at some point in time we had the cat bus and then we just did cat bus everything um, what was the glonk well it should be fine um, there we go there we go yeah, make some more of these please and science packs are still going yeah, train system. It's it's still going to be a while before we get into train systems. I am looking forward to that point, but yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> there we go. Inserters, make some more, please. And each train needs a type of rail tracks? I don't think so. I hope not. So wait a minute. I haven't even checked on that. Please don't be that. Please don't be like that. No, there's only one train track. Ooh. At least I'm sure there's only one piece of train track. Track. No, it's called rails. Um, it's called rail. What was this over here then? Track? What is this? A tracker. Okay. Um, mine is almost done. Oh, there's only one. Hey, King Arthur, how are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I was a little bit distracted again. Guys, we got King Arthur over here. Uh, we're going to scold him every now and then because uh, he made the bots together with Pyanodons and together with... I always forget the third name in there. Uh, one moment, please. One moment, please. Who was it again? Mods. Uh, here we go. Nexala. Thank you, Nexala, as well. But King Arthur over there. Yeah, he, he's one of those crooks that, that broke this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Want to know transports with Ox was changed and it's worth uh, in the playthroughs, though? Oh, you mean the caravans? There used to be the caravans in the game. Did they update the caravans? Because in the previous playthrough of Pi Alien Life, the caravans were absolutely terrible. And I did put some effort in to make them work, but yeah, since you could not really control what they load and unload, it was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. Are you good? Getting ready for work? Ah. Speaking of work, I have to be at work in like nine hours. Fuck. <laughs> What's really broken about this mod is that each train comes with a new train cars. The Mark IV cargo wagon holds 320 stacks and the Mark IV holds 250k. Yeah, but that's also something you definitely need in this game. I mean, in the previous playthrough, we had about 3,000 trains. Well, we only had one one trains uh, for one. <laughs> maybe not the best choice. Then again, if they do scale up like that, we could maybe go back to one one trains. Oh, no, let's not go back to one one trains. No! <laughs> um... And disable those to work for future Pi Python mods. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. 
But yeah, bigger cargo wagons are definitely required because at some point in time, what was it? We looked at it. Did we make like about 300 million tailings per second in the previous base? Yeah, things can escalate fast in this one. Um, almost, there we go. So having bigger cargo wagons will definitely be fine. We do have to think about and keep that in mind when we design our train network. We also have to keep in mind that we then at some point in time have to upgrade all those trains. Oh, fuck. <laughs> One, two trains. Uh, we'll think about that when, once we reach there. Uh, I mean, there, there's no need to think about that right now. <laughs> two eight trains as usual. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about running definitely a mixed system. Like, with big trains and small trains. Uh, and a 2A train at maximum? Maybe. You're finally done with work, so I can watch both with Decent into Madness. Descent into Madness. Yep. Uh, ooh, 20 of them. Nice. Mm, and then more of these, more of those. A 1-2-1-2-1 one, two, one, two, one train. Uh, we had in the SpaceX base... No, in the vanilla base. Was it the vanilla base? I think it was the vanilla base. We had that one, two, one, 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 two, one train. <laughs> Which was bloody amazing. There we go. There we go. Good. Okay, ash processing over here is going mighty fine. Uh, but we do need more small parts. There we go. And put this in more copper, please. Keep picking up this. Keep picking up that. Uh, what are we missing for science over here? We're missing... Oh, back of iron plates. We need big bertha again. Oh, that's that's going to take a while, mate. That's going to take a whole darn while. Artillery. That's all the way over here. That's technically endgame technology. You will not see a big bertha in this playthrough. <laughs> Before we are here... Um... Before we are here, we will be at 10 UPS. Basically tomorrow. Nah, that's, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Did a field of lead pop up yet? No. Well, it will be fine then. We all just have to make do without lead for a while. Um, but, oof. Oh, God. <laughs> if the lead is really, really far away and we have to belt it over. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, we have a little bit over here, like 16. You know what, if you want to know one, uh, we'll find it sooner or later. At some point in time, we're going to go exploring. <laughs> Big Burfest this time next year? No, probably not. Maybe, maybe New Year's Eve next year. There we go, there we go. Uh, and there we go. Good, undergrounds, we have them. These, we have them. Good. And looking at this belt and that belt, I think we can definitely do something like this and pick this up. Let's just let it run out of there. Good. Are you going to box the new iron? Box the new iron? Wait, wait, wait. Box the new iron. What do you mean? Here we go. And then this thing over here goes all the way over there. Oh, missing an underground. Really? <laughs> you can smell the lead now, even if it's not the tech is available. Um, maybe. We could check. Let's have a look at it. Nah. Doesn't want to go. Now, putting the iron into a box. Oh, this one you mean. Yeah, I was kind of confused about that one. Sorry. There we go. Put it in the box for now. I mean, we're mostly picking it up right now and moving it somewhere. Good, but that's running now. Uh, we could put down another smelter of copper over here if we need to. We don't really need as much copper right now. Uh, there's that iron field all the way over there. Ugh. Iron field over there. Oil sand field over there. Borax. If we're going to do aluminum, we're going to need that borax over there. It's all so far away. We need that car. And if we want to make a car, we need borax. Because we need borax to make aluminum. And we need aluminum to make a car. Ah. Shite. 
Are those inserters using power? No, these inserters are powerless. Um, here we go. Here we go. We also get tar processing and... Hmm. You know what else is missing? Where do I get my tar from? Uh, I guess, no, wait, tar? Tar we can get from trees, I think. If I remember it correctly... Uh, we can get tar craft. Yeah, we can get it from raw, raw coal processing over here to get coal gas and stuff like that. That will be fine. That will probably give us the amount of tar that we need. This is probably... Can we already do this? No, we can already do this. Wait, what? <laughs> Since when can we do this? Um, I guess we researched it at some point in time. Um, but then we make... Things like coal gas and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty good to get your raw coal. Well, it is. That's 12 megajoules of energy. That's 30. That's a downgrade at the moment. Mm. What can we do with our raw coal over here? We can... Yeah, this is usually the thing you want to do with it, but we can't really do that right now. Explosives is not really a thing we can do. Arc is not really a thing we can do. This over here gives us at least coal gas and tar, which is more or less the first step of cracking. Mm, the coal gas itself, we need that for aluminum ore um, mining, of course. That's where most of it will be going. Uh, we need it for syn gas production. Syn gas is probably going to be something we're going to be using for quite some time. Mm, that's for more mining. Um, we can turn that over here with some extra oxygen and water into better sing gas, I think. Uh, we have to check the recipe. And then, of course, we need that for, for all the drill recipes. And then we can turn it into magic stuff, of course. That's, of course, the thing we can do. And we can, of course, just vent it if we need to. We can also turn it into combustion mixture. Ah, okay, these things are still around. Okay, I see, I see, I see. We do get steam 150 degrees. Okay, what do we need for a turbine? Mm, doesn't really say. I think we can still burn it off. And coal gas is fuel values. So you can use it to power the glassworks. Yeah, we're probably going to need that for that as well. Um, so we're going to have to think about that as well. These miners over here are kind of... Kind of slow. So let's give them some upgrades. Here we go. I think I'm out of belt. Yep. <laughs> that was star processing. Nice. Uh, we need some small parts for that. There we go. There we go. Have this. Make me belt, please. Good. We also need to reconnect the ash over there. We have not done that yet. Um, also, we are out of power? Question mark. How? Oh, yeah, I know how. Full of ash. <laughs> yes, full of ash. Um, Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's also an issue we're going to have over here soon, if we're not uh, careful about that. Um, Here we go. And then we go like this, we go like that, uh, we go like this, we go like that, uh, in, 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 oh, oh. Uh, yeah, these guys over here, these need to move, because there will definitely be a mine over here. There we go, and then... Hmm. How do we get the coal over here? Oh, wait. I see it. And then... One, two. One underground, please. There we go. And then... Just do this. I don't care. <laughs> Good. That works. And then, of course, start this one off. Start it off. Start it off. Start it off. Start it off. There we go. Uh, we might also want to think about uh, adding in... Uh, the ash output over here. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need that sooner or later. Uh, we also need one more miner. 
Ah. Oh, that's a little bit troublesome. Um, we can do it like this. There we go. That works. <laughs> yes! Uh, and then, place one of these real quick. Um, Ash. Where is that? Is it over here? That's release, yes. There we go. Ash. Whitelist. Contaminate a couple lot? Really? Ah, it should be fine. Payload Viking. Now that's a nice name. Hello there. How are you doing, my man? Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. Payload Viking. Hmm. So, so are you basically the PayPal of Vikings? Like instead of of like going over to the English and uh, raiding there, 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 the church. You just go over there and go like here. <laughs> I brought you a PayPal invoice. <laughs> Please pay it or else. <laughs> Payload Viking, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the lovely Prime subscription. Here we go. Uh, don't hook this up like this. Um, that will not be good. Okay, we need some more belts. Um, there's a whole bunch of belts over here. We got so much iron plate in our pockets. What the hell? Here, make it all over here. Last call, mine off by one. Um, maybe. But didn't I do that with... The last coal miner off by one. I mean, this one over here is off by one. I know that. Uh, and this one is fine. Next one over. Bottom. Oh, this one. Yes. This one is off by one. You're completely correct. Yeah, it happens quite fast if you're not paying attention. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go. I'm happy. Thanks. Yeah, I'm a security researcher. Oh, and someone took my usual Viking nickname. Uh, don't don't tell me it's both Viking. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Like, oh shit. <laughs> yep. Oh oh, I'm so sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. Uh, Twitter is also mine. Uh, <laughs> But you could go with Italic Viking. No, that's also mine. Um. <laughs> this is the way how you find your stream? Really? <laughs> well, I guess that's fine then. Um. No, actually, I, I think you might be lying, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> If I take a peek over here, you create your account in October 2015. Um, I created my account in 2019, so I created my account after you. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Underline Viking is still available. Uh, Comic Sans Viking. Oh, Comic Sans Viking sounds amazing. There we go. There we go. No, I created my, my Twitch account in September 2019. So, yes. There we go. There we go. Let me put it in there. Good, 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 good. And power seems to need more coal. Yeah. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. At the time, I had a different nickname, but that changed because of English pronunciation of German watch. Nupis could was hard for some more streamers. Yeah, speaking about um, pronunciation, uh, I actually went with Bald Viking. I didn't expect you write that with an A. <laughs> I thought you write it with an O. Um, and now I'm bald. Now I'm just bald. <laughs> Good, 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 good. And who knew you spelled bolt with an A? Don't know. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, come on, it's bolt. Bolt, it's bolt. Wingding Viking. Ooh. Also amazing. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of belts. Uh, let's maybe also make some undergrounds. There we go. Yeah, fill this machine up. Yes. Fill this machine up. Yes. I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff in here. Yep. 
fill these up again. Here we go. Perfect. We can almost think about just setting these up in a permanent fashion. So we can always, always, always get some more stuff over there. Here we go. Insert it from belt to underground. Um, It's not really that required, in my opinion. Wingdings Tree Viking. <laughs> Now, I think the Comic Sans Viking is, I think, still the best one. Here we go. Uh, I should also pick up some... I actually wanted to pick up some copper plate over there. Also, this is interesting. Um, was not expecting that. Seems we need more coal over there. Okay, that is actually too much stuff at once. Um, there we go. There we go. Put that in there. And put that in there. But Payload Viking, thank you so much for coming over here. And thank you so much for enjoying it. And thank you for the basis dust. <laughs> Good. We're still working on these over here. Um, We're going to need all this dust over here. Eep, eep. Stop moving, please. You move up. Hydrate. I should. I should. Let me just copy over these real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Slurp. So this to get better at English. Good reason. Um, the lesson to um, write off of the creation of the name. Absolutely. I mean, English is hard. I mean, well, German is also kind of weird sometimes. But <laughs> there's definitely some English words out there where you just go like, really? You pronounce it like that? Really? It's Jif? Not Jif? <laughs> Uh, just sideload it there. I think it will be fine. Uh, good, 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 good. So then we get the ash out of here. Uh, we need to place these as well. All the ash out, please. And... This is... Yeah, the amount of coal that's going down over here should be fine. We should maybe also think about getting the ash out over there. Um, there we go. And now the copper mines and the last iron mines. Yep. Eh. Here we go. Here we go. Um, it doesn't really matter if this is unbalanced uh, on the belt. It really doesn't matter. It, it just goes over here and just goes into this nice little ring machine. There we go. Just fill it up. Let it go. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, these iron mines over there also still need a bit of a pick-me-up. Uh, that might actually be troublesome. Um, ha, this is pretty full of ash now. But so be it. Um, this machine over here is working like a charm. That one is working like a charm. Just keep it spinning over there. It'll be fine. Actually, now that I think about it, putting it over here is the worst place where we can put it. Absolutely the worst. It would be better to put it in over there. Uh, or further down. And of course, we don't have any undergrounds. Oh, um, there we go. Here we go. Double line of ash? We don't really need the double line of ash. Um, the amount of ash we produce overall in the full base... Okay, we make about... Let's go to minute average. We make about 720 per minute. That is... If we divide that by 60, that is 10 with 12 ash per second. Okay, that's getting up there. Actually, wait, that's, that's quite a lot. 12 ash per second is more than this machine over here can handle. We might do need the second one of these now. Spin the circle counterclockwise. Ah, this this is fine. This is fine. But we're definitely making more ash now than we were previously. So we have to work with that as well. We might need two more of these machines. Yeah, put that in there. Give me this. Get that. Pick up this. Pick up that. Uh, what about the science machine over here? You are stuck on soil. Uh, we should make you a soil maker. Let's maybe move that soil maker over there to over there. That would mean we need to place down uh, 
a bit of a water pipe all the way over there. Yeah, this, this. Then again, I think underground pipes over here are kind of far. So let's try that. How far can we? Not that far. <laughs> Definitely not that far. Um, let's jump our way through here. I think you only need one line for the ash. Uh, the other machine could handle the other two machines. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, mean one big belt for ash will be absolutely fine. I don't think we need to overdo it too much on that. And then we need this machine to be over there somewhere. Wow, that will be a water pipe that goes all the way up and over. Uh, because this machine will be... You know what's easier to get over there? A belt. <laughs> but I don't really want that thick of a dirt belt. Um... Here we go. And then... Two mechanical inserters over here. Actually, one will be enough. There we go. Uh, you need... 2.5 soil per second. That will not be fast enough over here. <laughs> that will definitely not be fast enough over here. But then again, it doesn't really need to be that fast. It just needs to work. Uh, as always. Um, yeah, let's flip you out into... Make pipes. Uh, we should probably make some more assembly machines. Niobium pipe when? Oh, at some point in time. At some point in time. Good. And then you over there, you over there. Um, you make undergrounds. You can make more pipes. Here we go. And you get this one as well. That's also not going to be very fast. It, it does require like five pipes a second. There we go. <laughs> don't burn locks. Wait, did I put, put the... Yeah, don't burn locks. Absolutely don't burn locks. These need to be over there. Did I put locks down here as well? No. No, you're absolutely correct about that. Don't burn those locks. Those locks are going to be important. Here we go. Give me eight of these. Give me like a hundred of these. Have this, have that, have this. Give me that. There we go. That'll be fine. Good. And then, well, let's try to get the water over here. And then we go this way. Oh! Freaks out! Hello! Thank you so much for the lovely raid. My first play through an IOP pipe. What is that? Second play through. Uh, when do I have this? When do I have this? Yeah. Guys, we got raided by the magnificent Freak's House. Hello there, Freak's House. How are you doing? Did you have an amazing stream? What have you been up to today? Oh, Factorio. Are you also playing Pryanodons? Uh, if you do, what are you doing? Stop that. It's crazy. Nobody. <laughs> Only crazy people play this. <laughs> Good. And now let's hook up the water pipe over there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wait. This can work. Uh, definitely not going to be the best pipe ever, but sure, I don't care. As long as this thing moves. Just a guy playing Pi and SE. Yeah, and Nullius. We're also playing Nullius at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we, we talked about it a little bit. I think we're just going to rotate every now and then. And every now and then we're going to boot up the Nullius map. Because we don't really want to... to Miss out on too much Nullius, but yeah, Pi is also going to be an absolute good one. There we go. Crazy, <laughs> Only crazy people play this twice. Have you met the beta testers? They probably played at least three times in a row. There we go. Good. Now we make dirt over there. So the dirt over there can then go into there. The only thing we need over here is like another chest over there for the iron plates. Which we then here have some iron plates. There we go. You get some more locks. There we go. This box over here we fill up every now and then. And this over here. Goes all the way down over here. And then into there. And then we technically have science automated. <laughs> technically. 
Uh, we do need to fill up this machine over here every now and then by hand. There we go. You've done pure angels and pie is definitely more insane. Pie is definitely its its own beast. Absolutely. And same for this chest. This chest over here we also need to fill up every now and then. Good. Let's go pick up our rocks from over there. We haven't been over here in a while. Semi-automated. Well, more automated than before. Good. Let's pick up the rigs. There we go. We do need a whole bunch of rigs. We could pick up some of the Kerrigan out of here. Don't pick up the rocks. Oh, God. I'm pressing all the buttons. Um, we don't need that much Kira again. Yeah, put some back. <laughs> yeah, like, automation one step at a time. Uh, and then, of course, we also need... Um, this wiggly line over here. Almost. And then we just do something like this. And then we copy this one over. There we go. 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 So then we can get this ash out of there as well. And then the only ash we need to pick up is the ash from our um, copper miners. And then I think we pick up actually all of the ash in the base. And then we need to pimp this machine over here a little bit. Here we go. We need the second one of these. <laughs> we actually do need the second one of these. Uh, now, we could make a second one right next to this one. I mean, this machine over here is not being filled up. It needs two suits per second to run at full speed. This one is not making two suits per second. Just speed module the ash burner. <laughs> we don't have speed modules yet. Um, does Pi introduce other kinds of modules? I've never checked. Uh, we got speed modules over here, but these look very basic, like the classic speed modules. Yeah, these are the classics. Good, 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 good. If you had more inserters uh, on it, it could uh, put it at in for speed. I mean, this machine over here, this this one's running fast enough. It has enough inserters. <laughs> this one definitely has enough inserters. Jank! Hello there. How are you doing? And there's still so much ash in there. Here, have some more. Good, 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 good. Are you from Ukraine? Oh, I got a whole bunch of co-workers from Ukraine. And most of them are currently sitting in Poland. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Now, do you think we the speed by 200%? That is true. That is true. Good. Okay, get these underground pipes. We're going to need them. Uh, we're going to need the pipes as well. Good. Why do you have so many rocks on me? For gun ammo. Yes, for gun ammo. Stick a garbine in it. Yeah, we can't really do that anymore. Um, unless you put the sap tree in. Oh, really? We can still do shit with sap trees? Are you shitting me? Why the sap tree of all things? Uh, where's that thing? Sap tree. Speed plus 500%. <laughs> and it's not going to worm me? Well, if it says over here we can put it in. Usually that means you can put it in. We should be close to sap trees. Um, we will see about that soon. Uh, acetylene, I mean sap trees. Sap trees, where are these? Um, unless we already have them. Seaweed is over there. Botany is over there. Um, it's part of latex and plastic. Oh, no, no, it's rubber production, rubber production. Yes, sap tree. There we go. And if it says you can put the sap tree in, you mean uh, you can put in others too? Now, in the previous game, you can only put the modules in that it tells you that you can put in over there. Uh, let's have a look at the lab. Can we still put fish in labs? Oh, we can't put anything in this lab. Never mind. Um, sap tree is also 100% pollution. It is? Did I miss that? 
It is. Who cares about pollution? <laughs> yeah, this lap over here can't get anything in it, but maybe we get better laps later on. Um, and these over here don't get anything. Ah, here. Yeah. Processing units. Yeah, sap trees as well. Sap trees! And right now, sap trees are unrestricted by mistake and go into anything that takes a module slot. Okay, let's hope they fix that soon. I mean, in the previous game, you could put, like, everything in everything, and that kind of broke stuff. Hard. <laughs> Good. Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff over here. What is this? Aromatics. Oh, I remember those. Um, they already require... No, they make gasoline. Okay. Uh, we already got naphtha processing pitch. Um, coke out of pitch. Okay, how do we make pitch? Pitch is... Oh, boy. Somebody had a lot of fun over here. So, tar and steam goes into middle oil, creosote, um, and tracting oil, and pitch. The pitch we can turn into coke, light oil, and more of those long aromatics. What do we do with all those long aromatics? Uh, that's naphtha. That's just aromatics. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> Whole bunch of stuff is popping up already. Uh, Dan. This is coal gas recipes. There's also the coal gas out of wood. Um, I would love to have the tree farm. Um, and aromatics are used for mining as well. They are? Okay, 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 okay. Good. But we're getting into stuff now. Uh, I do kind of want to get into... Not soil washing. Mm. Well, definitely go into guns. But where's the tree farm? Mm, is that over here? Wood processing, yeah. Um, that is glass technology, botany, soil washing, and moss stage one. There we go. Good. Let's set all of that up. This over there is now working as intended. Then we need to get the ash over there. And then we got most of the stuff that we need for now. Uh, you get this one. You get that one. Here we go. And you know what? Connect up to this one. It'll be fine. Good. And then the actual thing I wanted to do is make one more of these. There we go. Make one more of these. And I think we're going to make another ash processor next to this one. So let's cut you off for a second. So that I don't... Actually, I can just pick this up real quick. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that I have more ash in my pocket. And then we're just going to take a copy of you. We're going to place it over there. Uh, this line over here just goes past this. Past that. Uh, it goes under here, over there. Um, this power pole needs to move. And then you go to there. And then you just go all your way. Uh, and then we can place... We can't place you yet. We can't place you. Now, there we go. We need then a copy of all of this. That will be sitting over there. No, we don't need a copy of this. We need a copy of this. That will be sitting over there. And we're going to need one of these over there. That'll be fine. I am out of inserters. Don't pocket craft them. Pick them up if you can. Uh, there we go. Then, fill, fill... And fill. Yeah, we're probably going to turn this into a mall soon. Just to automate this a little bit more. <laughs> and we're probably going to make that down here. Like, right over there. How's pollution? Pollution seems to be mostly fine. Are we triggering any uh, bite nests yet? No. <laughs> then we don't need to worry about that. Um, Perfect. But biters are out there. They don't look like like big blobs, but biters are out there, and trust me, uh, biter expansion is on, they will expand. They will expand. Uh, oh, and that's somewhere we want, we want this one. Zip. And then zip. There we go. Do I've got some more ash on me? There we go. Good. And this one, please. Good. That should take care of more of the ashes. Mm. 
here. We have to do this. How does Bata expansion work? Uh, like, how often do they expand? They expand every every hour. They expand. And you can't think of it as exponential growth. Because once they expand once, then you got two nests that can expand. And then they expand some more. And then they expand some more. You need the ash output? The ash output. Which ash output? There's no ash output over here. There we go. There we go. Uh, but yeah, they, they will expand from time to time to time to time. And it will grow exponentially. So even though it's only a dot over there, I could walk all the way over there, shoot them in the face, and walk back. But I'm going to be fucking lazy. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I can already tell you that. Yeah, this machine over here has an ash output, and that's already going back into there. And this will be fine. Now we can process more ashes. Good, 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 good. I think that's all the ashes connected up, with the exception, of course, of the burner mall over here. Ah, uh, the burner mall. Oof. I'm very happy that we only have some base materials that we don't already have, like, nullius, like 10 different things we need to put into other stuff. So, a burner mall is definitely a thing we can make. It's just gonna be freaking annoying, <laughs> say the least. Uh, let's make one more of these so that we can automate the automation of these. Mm, we would also need... We need a couple more of these then. But we should definitely automate the automation of assembly machines, even if they're burner assemblers, so that we can at least make everything we need to automate the mall. Good. Um... Why do we have all the stone on me? <laughs> um, this was bricks. Have some bricks, please. You put them there. How far is electric? Electric assemblers is pretty far away. Relocate stupid steel? Nah, not right now. Stone for ammo? Yes. Uh, but we are kind of fine on ammo for now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of iron plate. Love that. Let's pick up some copper. There we go. We are full. We could think about this, that, this, that, here. That will keep you going for a while. Could have done this earlier. I know, I know, I know, but yeah. Only do the things you need to do when you need to do them. Uh, and have some more of this. Make more of these, please. Give me some of those. Let me pick up these. Let me pick up those. There we go. Uh, yeah, for stupid steel over here, of course. Um, eh. Eh. Yeah, let's relocate it. It doesn't even need... Oh, that was not the best. Um, technically, we don't even need to insert any, any power into it. Here we go. And then you get this one, you get that one. One, two. And then the copper over there. You get another one. There we go. That will keep these running for a while. Without us having to worry about them. These over here, I will still hand feed every now and then. It'll be fine. This will be fine. Good. Okay, we got some stuff. Mm, I think we should focus on raw, raw coal processing. What's the next big thing we need to do? So, we got carbon dioxide from tar. That also makes aromatics and flue gas and stuff like that. We can make soil. We can make automation science. We can do zoot processing. We got the tailing spawns and stuff like that. We got all of this. We got niploids. And, yeah, coal needs, or power needs a little bit more coal. You're absolutely correct about that. There we go. Put two more down. Yeah, since this over here is now running at more power. Yeah, power. Power is definitely the next thing we need to work on. So, what do we get for power over here? There's radars over there. There is basic circuitry over there. Basic circuitry is definitely a thing we're going to need at some point in time. Fluid pressurization is for pressurized air, pressurized water. 
But I don't think we need that. Soil washing, no. Acetylene, no. Ceramics is for electronics. Creosote is for, well, creosote. Uh, kerogene processing, ooh, that gives us shale oil. Interesting. Uh, and then it, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> here, you can make shale oil. And then over here, here, this is the next tech that comes after that. Like, what the hell? Um, that's like, <laughs> that's a connection all the way to the bottom layer. Um, seaweed, no, not really what we want at the moment. Mm, petri dishes, no. Latex, no. Alloy smelting. Vacuum tubes. Syngas. Syngas is something we can use for power, but there is no power making over here yet. Storage tanks. Oh, and then we get the fun little tanks over here. Landfillers over there. Genetics early on. Biotechnology machines. What is this? The reproductive complex. Mm. A reproductive complex equipped with three breeding, breeding pods with several adaptive biomes for animal-like creatures bonking themselves. <laughs> um, and then down here is all the other stuff. So when do we get the powerhouse? Geothermal power is over here. Mm, vacuum tubes is not what we're looking for. Domestication, biomass power usage, coal power stage one. That's where we get the coal power plant. Okay, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, oil power stage one gives us the oil power plant. Okay, but that's all late game tech. Then the tidal power plant. Tidal power? How does this even work? Is this like just sitting around making power? It does require, what the hell? Look at all that stuff in there. Oh, that's, that's, that's going to be freaking annoying. I can already tell you that. Um, then this is wind power. We know about wind power, gas power, storage. What is this? Hot molten salt. <laughs> okay. Um, power doesn't exist anymore. Neither does combustion mixture. It's gone. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. This recipe doesn't exist. Yeah. I, I did see the recipe over here. That's why I was thinking about it. But, okay. It doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Now we know that. Uh, but, yeah. Power is going to be an issue. I mean, we're going to be the burner stage for a while. I kind of want to process the coal over here so that we can get more power out of it. Uh, but that would require the coal power plant. The coal power plant is further down the row. So, we're not going to get it anytime soon. So, we're probably going to be stuck with that for a while. Uh, these machines over here do require power. They don't really require too much power. So, doubling down on the power plant will probably be fine. Mm. Yeah, power is still eating all the coal. We're feeding it. Yeah, give it a bit. Give it a bit. We might need to feed it more, but give it a bit. Also, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> there is... That is coal gas out of coke. There's this one over here. Wait, that's 10 coal into coke. And this is raw coal into coal. So how can we make coal? Is there maybe is there maybe something I'm missing? Uh, craft. So we know about this one. This one is not very effective, in my opinion. Um, we get three pieces of coal out of 10 pieces of raw coal. Uh, we can cook wood. This is very effective. This is great. This is a very good recipe. Uh, we can mine coal, of course. We can coal pulp. We don't have that. Crush coal, we don't have that. Coarse coal, coal farms, raw coal. That's the first coal processing step. It would be nice if we could get to this, but that is just after Pi Science Pack 1. I guess beelining to Pi Science Pack 1 is maybe the best way to do it. And Pi Science Pack 1 would mean... Uh, we have to make glassware. Uh, we have to make glass. We need quartz. Uh, oh, shit. Over there! <laughs> Bolt is 11.30. I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah, we're gonna need quartz. We're gonna need borax. We're gonna need tin soon. Um, 
We're gonna need the car. We're gonna have to be able to fight. And to make a car, we need the borax. So how about step number one? Get the borax. Was the big patch if you're not using this is aluminum? Uh, and that's the next patch we're actually going to be using. Because we need aluminum to make uh, engines. And we need engines to make cars. So, yeah! Let's do that. And for that, let's move this out of the way real quick. Let's make a couple of chests over here. Uh, yeah, two input, one output. Will one output be fast enough? We are making four belts per second. Uh, okay. Place that in the middle. You make belts. We're gonna need a lot of belts. We're gonna need a metric ton of belts. How much items do you need? You need two iron plate and two small parts per second. Um, that would be this, and you put out four. Um, that would be this. <laughs> Actually, that's not even fast enough, but so be it. In, in, in. In. Out, 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 out. There we go. Good. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me the small parts. Give me the small parts. And then... There we go. Yeah, these, these inserts are not fast enough. But at least with this, we can make a whole bunch of belts for a while. And we don't need to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, we need the borax from over there. Uh, we just need the raw borax. We need to wash the borax into clean borax. Um, where is that thing? Here we go. Borax craft. So, borax reserve. That's a borax reserve. If we just... The Zimic manure. Ooh. Um, really? We need sin gas for that already? I'm going to crystal mine Syngas into raw borax. The raw borax we can then turn into borax. And the borax is what we need for things like the aluminum smelting. One moment, please. One moment, please. Actually, I think we have already passed it. Um, yeah, molten aluminum. Though, it's not going to be that recipe. We're going to be doing... This recipe. And we also need graphite for that. Graphite is made out of coke. So we do need to set up some kind of coke making machine. So where's Syngas coming in from now? Um, Syngas will be coming in from over here. Uh, we don't have the Syngas yet. But we can definitely... Yeah, this is coal into coke. Into coal gas and tar. The coal gas and the tar. We can, we can turn the tar into coal gas. The coal gas into Syngas. And then there's a loop on that. And then we got this thing over here. That turns raw coal into stuff like that. I would rather do it with wood. Um, but for that, we need the wood farm. And the wood farm, that's a thing we're kind of slowly working upon. Okay, okay, okay. So a whole bunch of things need to be done. Uh, we also need the crystal miners. Um, I don't think we can make those yet. No, that will be then research once we get down the path of aluminum, which is quartz processing. No, not this one, which is not this one. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's solder. We don't need solder. Ah, we also probably need solder at some point in time. Um, that's duralumine, and duralumine already requires aluminum. Wait, where's aluminum then? We already have that. Um, oh, never mind. There is another recipe. We can just cook up aluminum ore into straight up. Good. <laughs> we don't need the borax yet. <laughs> but we do need the fluid miners to drill up uh, the aluminum ore. So that's the thing we can do. We need these miners over here uh, for the aluminum. Yeah, 10 to 1. Not really the best, but at least it gets us somewhere. And also this this aluminum field over here is 5.2 million. It will be fine. Um, good. So we need to make fluid mining drills. Fluid mining drills are... 
And where are they? Not over here. Not over there. Come on, where are they? There they are. Uh, we require a whole bunch of iron plates and a bit of steel. We we got we got iron plates. There we go. Got all of this. Yeah, make five of them. We could pocket cross five right away. Let's maybe pick up some of these. Some of those. And then you're still making small parts. Maybe not make small parts. And then we can make three of them. Good. And then we can at least smelt up a little bit of aluminum. I don't think we need a lot of aluminum right now. If we do need more, we could dedicate the smelt over here for aluminum. But... We also need to make the coal gas. And for that, we could definitely go with the raw coal over here. Because we don't really have anything else at the moment. And for that, we need some destructive catalysts. And for that, we need, well, more materials. There we go. Let's also make five of these. That is, again, so many small parts. Okay, we need, we need a whole bunch of stuff for that. <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff. There we go. That should be fine. Good, 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 good. But yeah, um, since I do have to be up quite early tomorrow, uh, we're not going to be streaming as long as we did yesterday. We kind of streamed quite a lot yesterday, which I don't really mind. I mean, it was fun yesterday. Um, but we're not going to be overdoing it as much as we did yesterday. Okay, we're still... No, wait. What the hell? If I make five of these, you make small parts. If I abort this... You abort all of them. If we make one of these, you don't make small parts. Okay. <laughs> Good, but we should make at least some of these. Uh, let's also pick up as much iron as we can, so that we can put that into the small parts making machines. Mm, there we go, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's a good amount of iron. And the balance of the ash processing is not really balanced. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So if you stream five seconds less than yesterday, uh, you haven't done quite as much. Yes. Um, yeah, put them in there. Put them in there. Put them in there. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow the garage day is already going to be going. I have to be in a train and everything tomorrow, and then I have to drive over there, and then I have to hope that all those... Um, uh, security checks um, are good because I ugh, it's it's gonna be annoying. Get attacked yet? No, not this one. I mean, uh, I turned down the brightness a little bit, but they are there and they will be coming over. But we're also playing on the green map, and green maps are so much better. Good, but let's have a look at this one then. Uh, we do still need to put fuel in there, even though they do require only liquids. Do we get these in liquid uh, in electric form at some point in time? <laughs> <laughs> so we still need burning gases okay let's have a look at these then um liquid miner mark one oh wait a minute um let's have a look over here then consumes electricity the mark two consumes electricity uh is the mark two flash go thank you for the follow here we go at least these things are kind of big that's lovely and they do use the correct icon, so they do, or they should, at least, transfer liquids to each other. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and then... Hmm... Yeah, we only need to hook up one of these sides, and we can just wiggle down the fuel line over here. Like, we can just do something like this for fuel. And then do the same over here. Uh, And then just wiggle it like this or something like that. Um, here we go. And then we can efficiently mine this whole thing. Excellent. Uh, make me one more. And then at least we're going to have some aluminum. The aluminum just goes down here somewhere. Doesn't really matter right now. Uh, and then if we do make ash again. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we can hit again. Go with the half and half belt. Uh, half and half belt over here. We'll be fine. And then this and that, this and that, this and that, this. Let me just get one of these. And then out, out, out. There we go. Good. 
Dead over there, we can set it up soon. Then, um, coal gas. We do have these destructive columns over here. And we could just place them all the way over here. Because, why not? And let's place one over there real quick. Wasn't there also... Wait a minute, let me just check up on, on coal and coke again. Um, that's a liquid, sorry about that. Um, coke, craft. So we can make it out of pitch. We can make it out of coal directly. Uh, we can filter cook it into phenol and coke. Red hot coke for later. Naphthalene oil into coke and aromatics. Residual mixture. That is... We'll this one again, but that's also... That's, that's, that's I think, late. That's fairly late. Um, we can cook tar into coke and heavy oil. I remember this recipe. We've used this one quite a lot. And then, yeah, this was the one I'm thinking of. Mike, in the small high-pressure furnace, coal into coke. Okay, but I don't think we can do that. We can do this one over here and making coal over here. Mm. Ooh. This one looks kind of sexy. When do we get this one? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Never mind. Um, then that is nothing we need. And then we got this one over here and then the wood one. The wooden one over here is the one I want to do. Are there ash on the science belt? Let me check. I don't think so. No, there's not. There's no ash on the science. Wait, maybe there's one. There's four. I'm not quite sure where they came from. <laughs> uh, oh, you know why? There we go. Don't put out ash. <laughs> uh, you're missing stuff. You're missing stuff. You're missing wood. Um, I don't have any wood for you at the moment. And actually, wait a minute. That was the wrong machine. We need it over there. And then you have this. So we also need to chop some trees. Uh, let's chop these trees over there. There we go. But yeah, I would love to make my own trees. Um, it's it's not too hard to do in this game. Uh, at some point in time, we get the tree farms. And the tree farms are pretty, pretty darn good. Because they eat pollution. And everything that eats pollution in this game, especially if you play with fighters, is absolutely mandatory. And we could just make like a massive tree farm. Um, the massive tree farm should be able to sustain us with power for a while. Um, and also a whole bunch of coal and stuff like that. And we did that also in the previous playthrough. Um, so, looking forward to that. But we do need to get there. And I think we still need to make trees. Well, if we make a tree farm, we still need to grow trees for that tree farm. And that could take a while. And they could do mash as well. That's also true. Here we go. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. Let's have a look at this one real quick. Uh, tree. Yeah, we do need to make the trees. Is the tree mark 4 in? No, it's still not in. Uh, is the tree mark 2 in? No. <laughs> you can only make the tree mark 1. Uh, there's no mark. There's no better tree than this. And that's actually not too hard to do. We need the tree seedling and the planter box. The planter box we're already making. Uh, and then we get a tree out of that. And three seedlings. We get three seeds. Moss. And some water. Moss is definitely a thing we need to do at some point in time. We can get moss from rocks. If you <laughs> really want to get moss from rocks. Uh, but growing your own moss is definitely better. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Okay, yeah, science is running again. Excellent. We can also place this thing over there. Then we got everything we need over here. Uh, let's copy and paste this one over. Tree mark four. <laughs> now with more bark for you to bite. Yes! Here we go. Also, wait a minute. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's 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 antagonize King Arthur a little bit. Uh Cadaveric Mark IV. Can you actually craft it? For the cadaveric mark four, you need 
Okay, I think we can actually get it. You now get it out of Cadaveric Armor Mark 1. But it used to... No, I think the breeding recipe, you need the Mark 4 seeds. For the Mark 4 seeds, you need the Mark 4 pulp. The Mark 4 pulp you get out of Cadaveric Mark 4. Okay, they fixed that. I think they fixed that. It used to be that you couldn't get to this. And I think this recipe over here was missing. Um, you realize that you need moss for the moss fats? You, you do? Oh, shit. <laughs> You do? Oh, God. Uh, let's put the trees near first uh, before I accidentally burn them. Also, I have these. Good, 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 good. So you're still researching over there. This is over there. Uh, and I'm kind of already losing myself in this one. Um, so we could do this recipe. And then we get coal gas out of there and tar. Uh, now we could store that. We could just store it. No problem. We can vent it even if we want to. But we need the coal gas. We need the tar. Do we have any storage options yet? Mm. No. We got the pie sinkhole. And we got the uh, tailing pond. The tailing pond stores liquids that cause a lot of pollution and venting gases. You may need the pump to take out the fluid. The tailing pond we can use to store at least some stuff. Uh, but we can't store gases in there, but that's fine. We mostly need this over here for now. And let's actually pick you up real quick for mining. I was certainly not, but I was uh, trying to catch you by surprise. Uh, let's check. Actually, it will probably be easier if we just check for MOSFETs. Oi! Oh, it's MOSFET only with one S. And then they are MOSFET craft. Ah, oof! You do need everything else, but there we go. Good. And then we're just going to make this thing down here. Oh, we need it. So you make this. Oh, boy. What happened over here? Oh, God. <laughs> Tailing pond got thick. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Tailing pond got thick. Those were tiny. They are really big. Uh, we make 30 coal gas per second over here. We need 10 per mining operation. It's going to be two mining operations per second. Um, so that's 20 per second. That's fine. Yeah, I do like that. That tailing pond looks amazing. Okay, rotate you around. Um, and then one tailing pond. Boop, over there. Is that a symbol? No. Um, pie tailings. Decontamination. Hazardous influence area. Wait, what? Influence area? <laughs> <laughs> All the forbidden ice cream flavors. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, we're going to just dump the tar in there for now. We only need this thing over here to make us... Um, well, the coal is nice to have, but I guess we need to coal for something else. We mostly need this for, for, the, for, the, for the gas. There we go. And then we just hook them up like this. I need more pipe. I probably crafted all my pipe away. There we go. Pick up these. Pick up those. Pick up these. Pick up those. There we go. We don't need a lot of pipe. We only need a bit. Yeah, but they definitely look way better than those old tailing ponds. Those old tailing ponds, well, they were nice, but it was like, yeah. Did you also update the storage containers? We don't have them yet. Well, we will see soon. We will see soon. Good. The coal for now. And the iron oxide goes into the chests. We don't really care about that. There we go. Whitelist. Um, coal. And then whitelist. Iron oxide. There we go. And then we just take you. How much do you need actually per second? You do need five per second. Uh, shit. Uh, we might need to beef this boy up a little bit. <laughs> that should be enough. <laughs> uh. Ha. 
<laughs> it still seems we have a bit of an ash problem. Um, here we go, and then one, two, three, four, five. I'm just put some rock on them for them directly. Thought she was not balanced. Yeah. I think it might be another issue. I think it might just be that Ash wise. Nope, nope. Items Ash of the last 10 minutes. Uh, we're now making. Uh, it should be fine. It should be fine. We were actually consuming more than we're making. Yeah, but without any splitters, balancing this is going to be a bitch. And you know what it is? The bottom line over here is what's coming from the power plant. And the bottom line over here is not working. And this over here is coming from the miners. So... And... Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> One moment, please. Um, there we go. <laughs> now the now the power plant will be prioritized. Um. And how far are you from splitters? It's it's still a bit. It's still a bit. Yeah, but but splitters is what we need. There we go. Uh, do they also fill up? Do we see the the full state over here? Well, I hope we do. Uh, good. But yeah, now you have the issue that you're not getting enough raw coal in, and for that we probably need to do something a little bit more drastic. Uh, pick up all of these. That all goes down there for now. It then comes back up. And you know me. Time for spaghetti. There we go. Good. And then we push a little bit more raw coal through, the, through here. We might need more than that. Uh, so we might need to tap more over there. But this should be fine for now. This should give the power plant enough coal for a while. And this should give this thing over here enough for us to make some aluminum ore. There it is. And the aluminum ore over here, we can then smelt up straight into aluminum. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Lovely. This is a lovely small base. It, it's, yeah, it, it's a slow start. It's a slow and rough start. <laughs> that was now, wait, not this command, time. Four hours and 30 minutes uh, of this. Yes, 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 yes. But we're getting somewhere. Are the two outputs of aluminum or just two sprites? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. There, there's multiple sprites for all the ores. All the ores have multiple sprites. I think the ash only has one sprite. Uh, but even raw coal... Okay, raw coal only, only has one. But some of these things have multiple sprites. Do I still have some plants on me? Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you. Like the plants, for example. Look at them. You get a whole bunch of different sprites. Uh, plate, I think, is all the same. Uh, copper ore has multiple ones, I guess. No, maybe? Yeah, those are different. The fish has like 10. Do we still have the fish on me? No, wait, let's get some fish. Let's get some fish. Uh, fish, 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 fish. There seems to be something wrong with my pond over here. There's no fish in them. <laughs> ah. They have to go all the way to the ocean? Okay, I can't show off the fish. <laughs> God dang it. Um, yeah, there will be some fish over there. Did we eat them all? No, you can't even eat fish. Uh, pollution is spreading quite nice. Um, but for next time, we're definitely going to have to go all the way over here to get the quartz because we do need to get some glass. We means we do need to do some combat over there. 
Uh, which does mean that we do need to get at least a little bit of... And let's just do it like this. Uh, a little bit of combat going soon. Mm. Two ways we could do this. This way, that way. This way, that way. <laughs> Back in you go. <laughs> uh, I don't think I will be putting the aluminum in boxes right away. Uh, the recipe is way too inefficient. I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Cute. And yeah, Ash is now backing up over there, but it should be fine. It should be fine. We can also see that we're definitely making less Ash. I think it was just all the Ash was backed up in here. Uh, I call out for this not enough. That looks pretty fine to me. I mean, the belt does need to be filled. We'll be backing up over there either way. Um, good. But with this, at least, we have a little bit of aluminum on the make. Uh, it does is a 10 to 1 ratio, but it, it doesn't really need to be super duper fast over here. Oh, these do look amazing. And they do pass through the gas, which is great. Love that. From the coal gas machine. Oh, yes. That's what you mean. Yeah, we should probably put some more over here. How much do we need? Uh, we do make... Okay, I think this should be enough. There we go. And now it's more an input problem. Uh, we can fix it as well. There we go. <laughs> Just lock those in. It'll be fine. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> but now it works. Now it works. Just consumes a whole line of coke every now and then. Um... Good, but now we make some coal over here. That's fine. We also get some iron oxide over here. Um, and these machines over here should now have enough coal gas to at least work and make a little bit of aluminum. Uh, and then later on, we get into the better aluminum processing. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about right now is why did sign stop and sign stop because I think we ran out of plate over here. We did. We did. And another one, burning coal to coke. Mm, yeah, we do have that, don't we? Mm, here we go. No, this one. Uh, yeah, coal to coke. But then we get even more coal gas and tar. We could make another one right, right behind it. Um, yeah, let's let's maybe do that. Yeah, let's pick this up real quick. Uh, we could keep it in chest like this. There we go. Uh, you turn that into coke. I need some brain for that. Um, let me just pick up some stuff real quick. One moment, please. Eh. There we go. And I already love how the bass already sounds more alive. I can already hear that the bass is roaring. Still gonna need. It's still gonna take a lot of time to get stuff uh, running. But, yes, this one also makes ash. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, wait, no, that's not the correct recipe. Um, oh, and this one. There we go. And you make some more iron oxide. Put that over there for now. And then you can... Oh, you're missing power. I was kind of kind of curious to see why it's not doing anything, but you're just missing power. There we go. And then we can combine these two up over there. Here we go, here we go, and then you over there. Here we go. And then you over there. Last, we don't need the opium pipe for that. Perfect. And then we at least also have some coke on the roll. There we go. The Coke, definitely better. I mean, this is definitely an upgrade. The Coke itself, what does Coke have? Coke has a few value of 5 megajoules. So, this recipe over here turns... 
And that's actually a direct conversion. Uh, 10 pieces of coal has 30 megajoules of energy. Six pieces of coke has 30 megajoules of energy. Um, but we also get the coal gas out of that and the tar on top. And the coal gas and the tar is pretty darn good. I filtered the coke inserters so they don't grab the iron oxide. Which iron oxide? Oh, these were there. Yeah, these. Uh, we should, we should, we should, we should. There we go. So grab everything but the iron oxide. There we go. I'm not quite sure if we're going to use this coke yet. 33.3 raw coal to 6 coal. Wait, 33.3? It's 10? Oh, wait, raw, raw coal. Raw coal you're talking about. To 6 coal coke. Yeah, and that is definitely not good. Because raw coal over here has 3 megajoules of energy. That would be 100 megajoules to 6 coal coke. So that's turning down 100 megajoules into 6. That's not good. But um, this only here is just an intermediate. We mainly need it for the coal gas. And why not turn it into coke? I mean, we're already turning it into coal and into coke gas. We definitely, absolutely want to go the path of the wood into um, coal and then into coke. And with that, we can make a really nice power plant. Uh, because the wood, we can gather for free. Um, speaking of wood, how does we make logs? Craft. Three, three seed links over here. We can turn that into three logs in 80 seconds. Uh, if we add some water to it, it will be faster. If we add some ash to it, it will be even faster. This is already pretty good. Like 40 ash. No, 30 ash into six logs. And then, oh, we need logs for poles. Wait, really? <laughs> we need logs for poles? Uh, and then the logs we can turn into five times the amount of wood. Perfect. So that would be... Wait, craft again. That would be 30 pieces of wood every 40 seconds. That's pretty darn good. And did they run out of fuel? Yes, they did. I just topped them up with some raw coal. We still need to set up the fuel line over there. And actually, now that look at this. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. 30 ashes to 30 wood. Wow, magic. That's pretty darn good. I mean, it's definitely better than this over here. I mean, this is nice. This is definitely to sink it all. And the zoot processing over here is also pretty good. Uh, to at least give us some of these other ores over here. Speaking of, yeah, we cannot take this and drop it over there. And just get rid of it for now. There we go. Good, good, good. But we're going to leave it at that. I think this is good for today. I still need to do the recap episode. And we're going to end it off on SMGs for the next time. And once we got the SMG, at least then we have something which we can shoot with. And with that, we can at least fight. So we might just go out there and kill ourselves some fighters. Do we already have things like the car? Or is the car further down? Engines. Yeah, get the SMG. Engine, car, and then we do the other stuff uh, for the tree farm. There we go. Because then we are good for the fence. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm going to record the recap episode straight after. So you're going to see this partially on YouTube soon. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to re be releasing them. I still need to make the thumbnail and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to have to think about that. But I do do the, re the recap episode right now because now still everything is in the top of my mind. So tomorrow I will be in the garage. So I will not be available to stream. First day. I'm not quite sure when I come back from the garage. It could be that I'm back early. Uh, and then I will probably stream. It could be that I'm back late. And then I will probably not stream. <laughs> because I will be tired as fuck. But... On the latest on Friday, I will be back. And on Friday, we are going to have a swing at the RimWorld DLC. The new DLC of RimWorld is coming up, uh, out. It's called Biotech. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Because, good God, it, it has babies in it. We're going to burn a baby. <laughs> We're going to probably accidentally eat a baby. Uh, I'm not quite sure what how that's going to play yet. But uh, RimWorld will be back. And XCOM will be back. My schedule for the next couple of weeks will be absolutely terrifyingly full, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and we will have to figure out how we can juggle that around. But on the other side, uh, in December, starting from the 9th of December, well, 9th of December will be my last working day for the year. And then I will be on vacation for like four weeks straight. 
And we got all the time in the air to play whatever the fuck we want. Uh, can you neglect ideology for biotech? Maybe. Later, maybe. We 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 can check. Um, we have not really seen the DLC yet, but, but if we can check what we can put in and what we can put out. We could maybe focus only on biotech, that's true. I do like ideology, but we will see. We will see. Did Nightmare plan to not show up in December? Oof. <laughs> And if the stream does contain at least one barbecue baby, it will be super, I'll be super disappointed. <laughs> well, we will see. We will see. Nevertheless, thank you so much for today. Let me just press this button. If any raiders come in right now, that's on them. They didn't check out first. And let's figure out who we are going to raid. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, we could flex on someone. We can always flex on someone. Um... But actually, there's not that many people up and about. Uh, Nephrim is doing speedruns, but, well, raiding speedruns is usually, well, <laughs> it's not going much on over there. Um, base trade is around, but... There's really not a lot of people up and around. Who else is playing Victorio? Nephrim's finished? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's not, not showing up over here anymore. Yeah, speedrunners, speedrunners, speedrunners. I'm not a big fan of speedrunning. I'm sorry. Um, dang. Uh, also, all my standard targets are not available. Where's Ozzy? Ozzy would have gotten a big, massive raid. Come on, Ozzy. Um... Mike Lad is doing ASE? Who's Mike Lad? Yeah, we're also doing base He's doing Overwatch. I hate that. Um, my cat. Let's have a look at you, mate. Oh, he's looking amazing. Got a nice little dragon over there. I don't know this guy yet. Let's have a look at you. This may influence all my future builds here, you know? We don't, well, yeah, he sounds like nice. Him. Let's go over to my cat. There we go. <laughs> he sounds nice. <laughs> good, 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 good. Ah! Again, thank you so much for today. Flash Go, thank you for the follow. Uh, Freak Sounds, thank you so much for the lovely raids. Payload Viking, thank you so much for the Prime subscription. The Long Off, 29 months, thank you so much for that. Kanake87, thank you so much for the follow. 2904195. I'm still kind of sus about you being a bot, but thank you so much for the follow either way. Jacob Freeman Inc. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Dart Froggy, thank you for the follow. Tumbling Satellite, thank you so much for the lovely raids. Cope Light, thank you for the follow. Memzy, thank you so much for the lovely Prime subscription. I actually don't think we did this yesterday. I think I was just too tired and went to bed. Uh, but Masar, thank you for the follow. Winnets, 14 months, thank you so much for that. Hundef, thank you so much for the follow as well. Apex, thank you for the follow. Storm Phoenix, thank you for the follow. I think those were yesterday. Uh, Malcranio, Mal Mal thank you for the follow. Butchering a name here and there. Um, Harding Grim, thank you for the follow. Torvac, thank you for the follow. Cool Schenken, thank you for the follow. Yeah, those were yesterday. I don't think we did this yesterday. I'm sorry if I missed it yesterday. I think I was a little bit frustrated yesterday. Miffle Love, thank you for the follow. Um, the Zany Druid, thank you so much for the follow as well. Golden Way, thank you for the follow. We had this magnificent hype train yesterday. Asparagus, gifted 10, gifted community subs. Fallen Angel, gifted 10. Little Sniper, subscribe with Prime. Emma Square, we subscribed yesterday. The rate is going out. I don't have time for this. Have a good one. Good night!